Wait, podcast. She's counting you down. Do <laughs> 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 over. Are we are we going? Yeah, yeah. Okay, go. Right. <laughs> go ahead. Do it again. Oh. Start over. But not really because everybody heard it already. <laughs> go. I don't know about you, man, but I'm out of here, man. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna check into a motel and um, lay low for a couple of days. I'll call <laughs> Joe and um, what the fuck? Is this guy dead or what? Is he fucking dead? Scared the fucking shit out of me. I really thought he was fucking dead for fucking sure. Well, we can't take this motherfucker to the hospital. That's fucking for sure. You got any ideas? Fucking spit him out. All right, time. even if we could trust Joe, man, how are we going to get a hold of Joe? I mean, he's supposed to be here, but he's not, which is making me very, very fucking nervous about fucking being here. I mean, this guy fucking plot a fucking robber. Now we got dead cops, dead robber, dead civilians. Jesus Christ. I mean, if I was him, I would try to distance myself as much as humanly possible from this mess. Who? What's up, fool? <laughs> That's my monologue from one of my dogs oh, in my yeah. acting class. <laughs> Fuck you, Mr. White. I'm going to create the situation. I'm fucking dealing with it. You guys are like a first year, first year fucking team. I'm acting like a fucking mm. professional. <laughs> You're feeling like that because you a situation you dealt with. Anyways, what's up, fool? <laughs> what's up, fool? I'm right here bro, with Mr. Round. And right here with Mr. Blue. The Blue m M&M. Right here, we're fucking the undercover cop over here. Oh man, I would be. <laughs> Serpico. <I would. laughs> John, look at like a fucking junkie in the '80s show, bro. Yeah, like the old school throwback junkie. Throwback, bro. <laughs> What's up, fool? We got Manny Maldonado <laughs> all the like way a, from Modesto. He looks like a junkie on Starsky and Hutch or something. What? Like he looks like a junkie, uh, yeah, a junkie. on Starsky and Hutch. Like a guy that always get grabbed he's and like a jacket rat. thrown. <laughs> yeah, he's like a rat junkie. <laughs> he looks like a villain in the, <laughs> in the Charles Bronson movie. Like I got itch. Like I got itch. Death wish. He looks like a rapist in Death ten, Wish 3. Ten till midnight. Oh, man. <laughs> ten till midnight villain. Yes, ten till midnight. That's really good. It's really good. Ten till midnight. I haven't seen that. I'm going to check it out. I've been on a Charles Bronson kick. <laughs> yeah, but we were watching um, we got Manny Wish Maldonado. One. What's up, we man? What's watching, up, fool? We were watching um, Death Wish One, huh? Yeah, that's a great movie. Uh, then we brought up um, um, Joy Medina because that's what he used to do uh, uh, Charles Bronson impersonation. Oh wow! <laughs> but it was not Ch- Charles Bronson; it was his sister, <laughs> Charles Charlene, Manson. <laughs> Charlene Manson. Charlene Bronson. <laughs> Charlene Bronson <laughs> and Manson. He'll put, put up a little wig, bro, like yeah. a, like a little pigtail, like. Pippin long stocking, but it was black. <laughs> and he'll be like this. Hey, you wanna dance? You wanna dance with me? <laughs> <laughs> and then he'll put on the beanie too, bro, over the the beanie over the trenzas, bro. It look fucking funny, bro. Cause he has that face, bro. Like he's been socked ten times. Joey has a boxer, right? Yeah. 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 Joey has the under five hundred look yeah. as a boxer. That face is malicious. But he's a good dude. What's up, <laughs> fool? Shout out to Lisa Esparza. Yeah, I'm over right here. here man, I'm taking right here. notes, got me this. For Christmas, oh, yeah. very nice. The One of a kind, bro. Like very it, nice. It's hard to find. Maybe the size. Well, they don't make it anymore. That's badass. Huh? That's really that's cool. A, that's an old print. That's yeah. like the first print I think so that they get did. Used. That's the Spooner Ray Spooner. What is it? Uh, Rain Spooner, something like you that. Down. You know what's up. You get it. <laughs> yeah, Rain Spooner. R E Y N Spooner. What's up for my my fat ass last night? Trying to work out, got in the sauna and everything. Came over here, bro. So Forgot that I was so fucking you know, muffins. Didn't even check if they were vegan, bro. Just ate them. Jeez, uh-huh. Just fucking took just the top <laughs> off, bro, like a dickhead. They ate the top part. That's, That's the best part. part. Left That's the rest the over there. Times are changing for me. Do you know what? This will <laughs> always starve me. He'll probably take them. Oh, he was man. right in the refrigerator right now, huh, Manny? Yeah, he, <laughs> I was yeah, he was. looking for grapes. All these, look I'm looking for carrots. This. Can't Can't wait to to I'm not, you know, I eat healthy. I'm vegan, but I'm not that vegan. Always scavenging, bro. Like, Oh. Trying to find something healthy, like on the, on the bottom of the refrigerator. <laughs> like, this, like this buzzard over here? Yeah, the fool. Like, <laughs> like this fool, like, I, <laughs> like, I, I know that maybe because I'm fatter, I know that I'm, hmm. old, I'm older, I know there's, there's going to be food coming sooner or later. Right. This fool's young, you know, you don't know. He might think that they might, sh- sh- they might shut down food right now. <laughs> uh, but I know, bro, food is going to come. You're, you're going to have a show tonight, there's going to be food there. I'll get there an hour early, bro. You know what, bro? So, the show don't start till 10. It's 8 o'clock. Well, fuck it. Hey, give me a plate. Hey. Right. <laughs> I always ask for a plate, bro. You, you know, they start charging me, bro. 
I start eating slow. I went for the pomodoro to show up. Hey, <laughs> yeah, hey. yeah, yeah, yeah. He sits down too, bro. Then hey, I get hey, up good to eat. see you. Yeah. Yeah. I turned a comic once and he wanted to go pay. I was like, wait, 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 wait. Let's just wait till the guy comes. Yeah. You gotta wait, bro. You gotta wait, bro. I got it. Like that fool, bro. Leonard Velasquez. Wow. That fool be like this. I got it. I'm going to pay everybody tomorrow morning. <laughs> <laughs> Meet me at the restaurant. Wow. You, you get there, bro. Everybody gets their check. He fucking he gets a free meal because other comedians went over there. <laughs> you talking about that fish spot? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah that place closed. Pescado Pete. Pescado, Pete's Pescado Pete's Pete's closed. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, they didn't bury him, but they deep fried him. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> I even fed the parrot, mijo. The parrot. Yeah, bro. That, that's another place where the guy would take us to eat for free, mm -hmm. and he didn't pay. Hush puppies. <laughs> <laughs> good. Those are good. Those are the best hush puppies on the planet, dog. Very good. You, you've right. had Pescado Pizza. Yeah, right? I've had oh it before. Had it many a times, oh. many a times, many a times. So you've done like, Leonard Velasquez shows? Oh, yeah, yeah. You know, I've done them, done them in the past. Uh, good guy. What shows you do? Leonard, the, like the Visalia, and then Puerto Rico? Uh, no, the the Merced uh, Theater and then the Visalia uh, show, like the Fox or, yeah, that little two-day run. That Merced one, I, I did it one time before, like, I won Last Comic Stallion, mm -hmm. and I remember that... Uh, that fool's eating steak, bro, right in front of the theater. Like, they had like, a little lounge. Uh, He's eating good, bro. Good cuts. Fucking green room, no food. My <laughs> <laughs> has marbled steaks and shit. And um, <laughs> flies, a pestering you know, them, bro, for, for a meal. Yo, man, I thought we were going to get a meal. The uh, dough. Could I get that uh, potato? <laughs> but it was funny, man, because when they had asked Leonard Velasquez who's going to be on the show, oh, it's going to be Felipe, you know, that peachy marijuana guy. <laughs> and then, um, and then uh, who's flying? Fly. Who's fly? It's a pinche mayate, man. He's fucking funny, eh? Oh, here he comes right now. In Mosca. <laughs> pretty much, pretty much calling the N word in Spanish right in front of him. Damn. Wow. Yeah. Welcome to Lindsay, eh? <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to Lindsay. Welcome to Merced. Welcome to all the Central this Valley. Who said Lindsay? Welcome to <laughs> Lindsay. Lindsay. You, didn't, you didn't say reading or you Lindsay. said Lindsay. Lindsy. Wow. That's where you're from, huh? Little I'm, town? I'm from Modesto, California. You know um, Marcel Arguello? Uh, yes, I do. That's yeah, where she's from. She, she's from there. Um, when when I moved out here, I I had never I had never I never met her. You started Modesto. Or I like, started hey. Modesto, Modesto, and then I would do shows in Sacramento, and San Francisco. But when I met you, is when you came uh, to Modesto, or maybe I came out here. I, How'd I, you start in Modesto? What you shows? started before Ma Marcella started. Though. Yes, yes. yes. A while so before. Yeah, years that's ago. What, not thirty, <laughs> but yeah, 97, he's been 97, in it. Ninety-seven. Yeah, 97. he's much longer. Ninety-seven. She was like a baby in yeah. ninety-seven. How old were you in 97? 97, I was 10. She was 10 years old. She was like 12. <laughs> <laughs> Shout out to Silvia Ballera. She grew up in East LA, bro. She used to gangbang on, over there <laughs> on a fucking, by the, by the gym, bro. Hollenbeck gym. She, she didn't really gangbang, but she backed him up. Oh, okay. She, one of, she got gangbang. Silvia Ballera, one of those cholas, bro, that, like when she got ready for the fight, She'll put like razor blades in her hair. Mm -hmm. <laughs> she went so, so it's like when you grab it, bro, you get cut. Wait, yeah. you, you know her for sure? Or you're just guessing she was one, like one of those girls? I'm pretending I know her. <laughs> <laughs> so she was on the bench. She was coming Dang off the bench. <laughs> All right, that's cool. Oh, shout out you? to Young Danger. That fool wears like profiling. That fool wears it like crime lab. And, um, All right. right now he's not. Um, he, he, he works in a crime lab in his bubicle. I'm in my bubicle blood. <laughs> what up, full shout out to Toby Higgs and his fucking Dope Dealer podcast. What yeah, it man. do with yeah. Jamal Doman? That's they right. They were there, man, just yelling, bro. The whole episode is a bunch of people. It's just Toby yelling, bro. <laughs> it's just we yelling. We got a <laughs> on the show. <laughs> <laughs> she gonna tell us that story. I her story. <laughs> Let us speak, Toby. I am. <laughs> <laughs> what it do, Omaha? That's hilarious. We in L.A. That's what funny. it do, Los Angeles? That's funny, man. Every time Toby gets buzzed, mm -hmm. we, we find out a new celebrity he'll have sex with. <laughs> wow. I'm going to fuck her. Like, Tina Fey was doing an interview. Oh, y'all. Oh, man. Tina Fey is one fine bitch. <laughs> yeah, I don't know, man, but I'll fuck her. Oh, okay. Like, it, it, it's like... What does she have to say about that? <laughs> she said, oh, right. probably, probably hasn't had any good dick ever, probably, huh? Maybe, right? She said, man... She said, yeah, about? man. Toby for sure. down. <laughs> <laughs> Give me the Omaha pick. <laughs> <laughs> What's up, fool? That fool showed up that he went up on stage with man. You know how how, how sometimes you know Manny, mm -hmm. you go to shows like and the people try to give you the product. Like you know what? I'm, you're already selling merch. Yeah. But this way, the only T-shirt to give you. Right. 
Like, here, man, I want you to wear my T-shirt. Or like, you, you take a photo with them and they give you a T-shirt. And you get a, you, they t- you hold it up and you're like this. Mm-hmm. Now you're promoting their T-shirt. Man, if somebody gives me a T-shirt, if it's ugly, I throw that shit in trash. <laughs> right, after, right after you turn around. Right, right after you turn around. He's I like, mean, boom. I seriously. I give I, that shit to the homeless. I, I give it to the guy that cleaned the theater, bro. Yeah. <laughs> Full happy, bro. Gracias. <laughs> Muchas gracias. Muchas gracias. <laughs> so, Toby had one of those t-shirts that somebody gave him. Mm-hmm. Drink yeah. wear. Oh, my God. It was called drink I wear. I saw <laughs> that. Drink finish. wear gear. You didn't see the whole thing. I saw that. The, the, I was the, like, the, why is The he tip wearing... of the shirt had a can opener. No <laughs> way. Get your wow. drink No around. way. Like and sewn into yeah, it? Yeah, a yeah. bottle Anything. opener. Oh, my God. So you'd be like, that's you can open your drink with your T-shirt. Get to fabulous. <laughs> Get to fabulous. <laughs> For real. Get to anyway, fabulous. Anyway, anyway, why are you worried about that shirt getting that real? <laughs> I be popping bottles. 24-7. <laughs> The dryer be popping them and everything. How about oh, the, that should be dry. The dry. Fucking up the dryer. Can't, 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 That's like, can't, it's can't, one, can't. one fucking shirt. Just fucking clack a clack 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 throughout the Did fucking dryer. Shoot up my dryer or what? Fucking drive by dryer. Hey, fool. Well, How about Sunday when that fool, his relatives came? Well, that fool, nine feet tall, bro. I saw that guy. He was a fucking core stock. That guy was tall. Hey, fool, Toby was all red. He looked like a little Coke can, huh? <laughs> Nebraska. And he knew he was gonna be there, so he went right in his bright, brightest red T-shirt that says Nebraska on it. Wow, Cornhusker pride. Everything. But that was funny. That fucking T-shirt was ugly, man. <laughs> Freak wear yeah, gear. I don't. These lately, these T-shirts that people give out, these people, mm-hmm. these T-shirts people make. They just have like one word on it or a stupid phrase. Mm-hmm. It doesn't mean anything. Uh, no and cocaine. and they think it and they think it's like a great design. It's not like you will keep a shirt like ill kids wear. They make great designs mm-hmm. or um what was that Roots other of one? Fight. Roots of fight. Like they make great shirts that have something cool, some great design on right. it. But just to have a word on there that's like in a script or in some <laughs> sort of like block lettering with sure smoke or whatever. I think I, so, I really I think one of the the an ugly rising. Shirt. No. <laughs> <laughs> I, somebody gave me some whack ass uh, wine shirt called Neb, Neb, Nebula in Portland, oh, and he's man. like, "Hey man, please promote this." And I was just like, "Dude, Nebula, really?" So I think this you know, motherfucker give you a motivating shirt. <laughs> <laughs> I, I think that was one of the weirdest wackest shirts. Take me to the Nebula, Rasa. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, man. That is it. it drink wear. I said DK. Uh-huh. No, DW. DW, DWG. D- drink wear uh-huh. gear. In the bottom of the shirt. There's a <laughs> bottle opener. Had a bottle opener. That's just funny as hell. Yeah, fool. I think this UFC fool sells a shirt that'll put you in TSA, the stop me. <laughs> There's an arm coming out my shirt. Every time I go by TSA, it just keeps on beeping for no fucking reason. It just beep, beep, beep. That fool always gets stopped too, though. He gets though. stopped all the time, bro. Uh-huh. And this time, um, no, what, what I see him laughing, and, and he's laughing because someone else got stopped. They were there stopping this priest. They're trying to take everything out the Bible. The cross. They found a kid on him. Wow. <laughs> they found a kid on him? <laughs> <laughs> he was five. <laughs> so, <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. That's hilarious. That's hilarious. Y'all should be ashamed of yourselves for following that man. <laughs> he is saying deserve a raid. <laughs> what you talking about, Felipe? Look, give me an edible. I don't even eat those. <laughs> it looks like an edible would kill him. It would be too yeah, much. This is the first time him. he ate yeah. edibles this time. Yeah. Those two little worms. Yeah, a little I worm. Fall asleep, little man. Worms. That fool fell asleep. I look at Rodrigo. He died. Rodrigo was, he died so much the flame was tilted. Wow. <laughs> That's it. He looked like that vampire from that movie, Pita. Oh my god. That's exactly what he looks like. Remember the what, what they do in darkness? Oh yeah. The yeah, whole yeah, vampire yeah, yeah. pizza. <laughs> the one that really was killing and everything. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> Have you seen that movie? No, no, I haven't. You guys oh, see it? So movie, good. Bro. Make sure you uh, text what me we that do in info. shadows. What we do in the shadows. What we do in shadows. What we do in the shadows. Never yeah. Rick Ryan was talking about that movie. It's a fucking. <laughs> oh my god, movie. it's a fucking masterpiece. Um, <laughs> <laughs> it's a fucking. Um, the fools from Flight of the Concords did. It's okay. Yeah. Okay. Dog. So it's really yeah, good. Yeah, Jermaine Clements and it, no, right. it's actually and that other guy Tiki. His homie. Right? Tiki Tawati or something. I can't. I'm getting his name wrong right now. Directed Thor. Yeah, that's his big thing now. The first Thor. Yeah, he just graduated to some big movie. He plays that big ass monster. Yeah, his voice is the rock monster guy. Yeah. Oh, so you say that Tiki Watiti, I think, is his name. He's the one that says, "So you're saying that this hammer, you have a an emotional attachment to this hammer." 
Okay. But he I plays this. Uh, it's it's right. like yeah. a it's yeah. like a mockumentary of these vampires who okay. li- who are Fuck roommates you. together yeah. in a house. And all these all these vampires from a different and generation. They, and so they give little. <laughs> little <laughs> it's yeah, a genre. Yeah. Genre like of there's vampires. like a fancy vampire that Tico one is it, it a vampire type of vampire. Yeah. The other one is more like a, like a newer version. <laughs> okay. Yeah. This fool like. Right. It's Jermaine. such a funny. Jermaine. Jermaine. Jermaine is like, he's, yeah. like, he's like 40s or something, yeah. and the, he's like, I'm 16. He started acting. <laughs> it was much harder back then. <laughs> they, 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 have, they have weird. You and they have weird. He goes, yeah, some of so, the guy talking goes, yeah, some of us, some of them have like old beliefs. Maybe we should get some slaves. <laughs> <laughs> the old, know, the the old school racist vampires. We got, race, we got racist vampires. All right. Yeah, it's, it's crazy. That's so the good thing. Normal black then. It's Whoa. so funny. It's so funny. Let's yeah. check it out. It's funny, man, because um. You know, like they're like documenting their trips mm-hmm. everywhere, right? Like a documentary, and um, they're standing outside the club. Invite us in! Because <laughs> you can't go in unless you're invited. Unless right? you're invited in. Okay. You know, just get in, you asshole. No, you're going to invite us. <laughs> it sounds funny, man. They, 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 they go to their club with a bunch of vampires <laughs> and fucking dead as fuck. <laughs> yeah. they, they get to find with those wolves, bro. Oh, yeah, the werewolves. It's oh, funny. that's so funny. Fucking funny, bro. Wolves. They confront the werewolves. Oh <laughs> you're like, God. you are smart ass, right? But then one of them is talking shit. <laughs> and then one vampire picks up a stick and goes, <laughs> <laughs> and he throws the stick. He goes, stupid, don't go, don't go get the stick. And he comes back with the stick. Bro. <laughs> <laughs> he went, face. How about when those two fucking vampires are fighting and they turn into bats and they all fucking. <laughs> 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 fucking so, so the weak. old vampire, <laughs> the old good. vampire oh, in that movie, is, uh, is like the, he looks like the old vampire from the old movies, you know, the, the like black Salem's and, Lot yeah. type yeah. guy. Oh, okay. the black, the black and white yeah. Yeah. Yeah, 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 old school, old school vampire. Toby good. Higgs, Pizza. Wow, <laughs> keep that fool in the cell. Hilarious. Anyways, so why I gotta be down tangent, here? but that's a good movie. What's up, fool? Anybody, you looking for a show to watch? Um. Oh, Pan 15, Penis. Yeah, that, that penis. Man, he, he just fucking recognized Dude, it to me. such P- a good P- show. He just, told, he just told me that about, I can't that, stop about, talking the, about it, that show. Yeah. I just started watching uh, Crashing, not bad, not bad on HBO. Yeah, pretty, pretty good. good. I saw the first yeah. five episodes. Yeah. yeah, I'm on season season one, episode six. So That's <sighs> funny, man, because right now, well, are you like it's Crashing? All right, people. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so sad. I've been crashing for days, though. I, I mean, come on. <laughs> okay, his, his nose looks like a fucking blown up pyramid, bro. His nose oh. is so <laughs> destroyed now. It looks deflated. You see his nose, bro? God don't damn. Eat, don't bro. snort powders, I've done coke, but God, I don't know what the fuck he was doing with Battery it, Battery acid. He was uh, doing coke and heroin. He was oh snorting shit. heroin. But he, th- he didn't stop, huh? Because I don't think he ever started injecting uh, it. It was no. He I think he broke that septum. Whatever that yeah. shit's called, yeah. right? Yeah, septum. Yeah. Septum. Yeah. Wow, man. <laughs> don't do <laughs> drugs. <laughs> Jesus. That's right, cocksuckers. <laughs> don't do blow. <laughs> <laughs> Tell you, cocksuckers. What's up? Full we'll senior Grand Junction, March twenty third. I, I got four tickets for me and my family. It's about four tickets. Old. All right. Okay, there's four people there. <laughs> <laughs> All right, there you go. Four, four, four ATL, RSVP. ATL, it's going to be a light ATL. crowd in that city. Probably. Four RSVP already. That's good. That's crazy, <laughs> man. Uh, come on, crowd. That's what he, he, <laughs> come you know, on, crowd. <laughs> <laughs> come on, you guys. <laughs> give it, you know, give you know it up for the menus. Give it up for the lights. You know when a promoter, <laughs> you know, you know when a promoter is trying to cancel the show, where they start talking nice about the show, you know, I, w- I want a re- I want a big crowd for Felipe, you know? Yeah, yeah, that's, that's the prelude. I don't prelude. want, I don't want him to, pro- to, for, to do a show for a little bit of people. You want him to shine. <laughs> well, I don't want that either. I don't, you know, it's tough to make that decision. I remember doing Cancel a show one show time, show or bro. Not. When I first started doing that, when I first won that comment standing, motherfuckers try to take a chance right away. Mm-hmm. <laughs> so try to take a chance. <laughs> try to take a chance. <laughs> try to take a chance on this guy. So let's build the sky. This is before I knew that I gotta do all this is before I knew that I gotta do all the work. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> right? <laughs> so I thought, oh yeah, you're gonna be in Bakersfield. All right. Yeah. I said I want to eat only, bro. Right? And they thought that they, those folks didn't do shit. So when we get to empty bro, hey, it was me, you and Joe Diaz, right? In Chicago, maybe? Or whoever. Mm-hmm. And then um, when that food kid got the checks and shit. He tried going like this, like, oh, man, we didn't make no money. And shit. Uh, Maybe I could give you this check. I said, nah, just give me what you said you're going to give me, the dog. Guarantee, <laughs> dog. The guarantee, dog. The guarantee, dog. We haven't worked with that guy since, but still, man, you know. Nice try. You know, that would have been cool, <laughs> you know. 
We have four last comics standing, you know. No, we had a contract. We had a contract. Contract, right? of course. contract. Yeah, this is the day yeah. of the show. Contracts yeah. a contract. So is they send the minion to fucking knock it down. Yeah, like this. We had a contract. He he gave a fifty percent deposit ahead of the t- show uh, to the, the agency. I can't only knock down my size to all the over agency, my and then that wasn't that guy, but <laughs> he gave fifty percent to the agency ahead of time. One where they pulled back. The other fifty <laughs> comes when you perform. And services rendered. We don't uh, I do a take show a cut time. at the end of that show. I don't care what but you work with. I always go with a contract, bro. Even when, even if they add extra shit when I get there. Yeah. Bro, I did the show, bro, in Visalia, bro. They had a Budweiser truck. They were selling beer outside. I saw Clydesdale. They had bartenders <laughs> inside, bro. <laughs> they had bartenders. From bartenders. But, but it was a bartender <laughs> school, so they did it for free. Yeah. Oh. So the bartenders were pro bono. Tips only, pro bono. Yeah. Pro bono. Pro bono. Interns. Interns. And bartenders. And still don't have the money at the end of the show. Ain't that a bitch? Still patting down. Hey, but I'm not loyal no more. I don't know, bro. If I rise, the, if I'm rising as a comedian. And you've been promoting since before I was, when I was a number of micer. Mm-hmm. You should have rose as a promoter. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You know, you should always have the money there. Yeah, no matter what. Yeah, I'm going to tell everybody, man. You know, like, you, you just got to have the money there, man, if you're going to promote a show. Huh. You can't be like that guy from Gabriel and shit. The motherfucking Fire Festival. Do them up or doors or whoever, <laughs> Yeah, right. Who's Gabriel? <laughs> <laughs> I was just thinking oh, yeah. the same yeah, who thing. Is that? Yeah. That's right. Whatever. <laughs> it's okay. <laughs> but as a promoter, if You're you go out there, you have to take your fucking loss. You can't yeah. be over there like fucking, you stepped up, you wrote the contract, honor that motherfucker. You were doing a game where you didn't get shit? Oh, yeah. That's <laughs> it's been, it's oh. been a long time, though. It's been a long time since that happened. Oh. Learned my lesson, though. But How it's been a was, there, was there a big gig, a road gig? It was a road gig. and what happened? Tell us that. It was, uh, the deposit was, was given, and then the rest wasn't. And at the show? At the show. <coughs> and Can you work with me? Yeah. It, it was, was empty or what? No, it was a decent crowd, but yet, you know, you were hearing excuses from the promoter and blah, 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 and then just didn't get money. We and and I waited. Door, I waited. I waited. Was that store? No, it was in Sacramento. It was in Sacramento. It was a big show, actually. For who? Uh, God, his name is... Uh, what the hell is his name? Stockwell. No, 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 no. <laughs> God, was it... D- is his name DC? I, I want to see Urban. No, 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 not DC <laughs> Urban. We know... <laughs> Shit, he's a comic. We know DC. I forgot, <laughs> I forgot his name, but he, he, was, he was shady. He was shady, and uh, it was a big show. It was me, Paul, uh, Carlos was on the show. I mean, it was Damn. a bunch of us. And we, we, did, we did we Arco Arena. Damn. We got half up front, Whoa. and then and the other half just wasn't given. And you were some party. They, they overspent money. for yeah. the show. Right? You, you did your money, Paul. You didn't get paid, but I did. <laughs> pa, 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 Paul got taken care of. <laughs> at the end, at the end, he he took care of me. But I'm like, you just took care of me that day. But it was it was a fucking hassle. Hey, how about that show yeah. that uh, so, I, think, yeah. I think you you did it with me? Uh, it State was, Theater back it, in the day. It days? was um, Gilbert Escobar War. Uh yeah we did uh with war the, the yeah it, war. it was it was San it, Francisco it, uh San Francisco yeah and that shit was filmed and all that yeah, shit yeah 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 we got paid Damn. well and yeah when I when I spoke to Paul one time he said that, that, that was it like the, the DVDs came out somewhere but that was it you you um the, you did you didn't get filmed so that's cool your your DVD did never came out oh no, I didn't get filmed no. I thought I did because I was wearing no. all academics. I thought I was going to get No, 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 no. no. <laughs> <laughs> get MC in the house. It was, uh, was Gilbert in the show? Gil- Gilbert's on the show, but he, he said no. He said no, so he didn't, he didn't get filmed either. That guy was cool, though. He took pay cash. That's the dude. That's the guy that ripped oh, me off. Oh, That's the guy. Up, That's the dude. Buttered you up with a shit. <laughs> That's the dude. So I did another show with him. Yeah. So uh, we did a big-ass show. It was, you did a lot of shows with that guy. Yeah, yeah. No, he was cool, but not this time. That This one time when he didn't pay, then that was the end of that. But... Yeah, you, you can only. I've, I've been doing comedy for almost over 20 years. I've only been ripped off four times, but you fucking remember each <laughs> oh, time. Oh. That's it. That's not a that's pretty good ratio, being doing comedy for 20 years and not get paid four times. But it's, it's not such bad. a slap in the face. It is yeah, a, it's you, a big slap in the face. It. You know, oh, yeah. you're, you're being advertised. You know, I'm not saying I'm a big comic, but you're being advertised. People are coming to see, you know, yeah. a variety of comedians and you just don't get money. It, it, it's a shitty ass feeling, man. How about when you get jacked by other comedians, dog? Oh, that's oh, the worst. Yeah. That's that's like the, no, no, the, no, the no, biggest tap. Cause they paid us so less. That's the biggest. Oh, I'm all right, cool. <laughs> so I went to the back and I took a bottle of fucking uh, Patron. Oh man, that's fair. That's we gonna no, get off fair. fifty dollars somehow. Somehow, <laughs> some way, we're gonna get that fifty. Someone says it. Someone stole a bottle. <laughs> oh, you better fucking catch those fucking criminals, bro. Who booked that show, Lil Gloria? <laughs> oh. Just, the, just the voice says it all. That's hilarious. He said, "Little Gloria." <laughs> that's funny. 
But oh, yeah. man, but viejo, what you get somebody right now, eh? Casa Rich. But I remember you, when you used Manson to come, you used to come to Modesto and you would do shows uh, at the State Theater. Those were fun shows. That was the same guy. Yeah. No, no, no. No, no, that, that was, was a different, that was Bland, a Louis totally Bland. Bland. Louis, Louis Bland. Louis Bland. Louis Bland. Yeah. It was me, this dude. That was a badass me, this show, dude, dog. And, uh, Joe Diaz. Uh-huh. We did uh, that one night that the fucking, the, 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 the Chuck and Roll t- rule came in. When the, when Raiders, the Raiders are playing the Patriots. Okay. That playoff Bumble. game in the winter. Oh, it was the tuck that you did yeah, tonight when it was a tuck game roll? Yeah, yeah. Fucking, uh, the yeah. Patriots won. When the Patriots won, 2001, yeah. Yeah, we were doing that show. We did that show in Modesto. Wow. And I remember that show because Joe Diaz thought that guy gave him coke, but it was a big ass line of speed. Mm-hmm. Ooh. And that fool went to go buy some fried chicken at the fucking, <laughs> at, at, at the gas station. Right. And made us watch uh, La Bamba with him. <laughs> <laughs> and Selena. Ran- and Selena. Wow, that's he was back to- the whole time. He ate while, while <laughs> he was all yeah. cranked up. Yeah, he wow. Was, let me, oh let me know, guys, if I'm talking too much. <laughs> wow. Let me tell you how big this that's fucking like a, rock You talk about a double feature. I, I looked at that rock to look back at me and said, <laughs> boom. He got that fucking fried chicken, bro. The, the frozen one, the party one that's mm-hmm. all frozen, and he cooked it like that, dog. Wow. Survival tactics. Survival tactics. Came with a biscuit, bro, all frozen. Yeah, you got the, these vegans doing exercise. Look, <laughs> still alive! Still alive! <laughs> still alive and kicking. <laughs> Prince, vegan, dead. <laughs> Fucking the lady from Star Wars, vegan, dead. <laughs> Who's next? So you Not and, me! Um, you and Dennis Gastrola were a comedy duo back in the day. What's up? <laughs> Dennis, that's hilarious. That's so fucking wrong. Oh God, fucking here, here come the jabs, bitches. Here come the fucking jabs. So you he was lower. You were fucking hardy, right? Is that what we're going to do now? No. Uh, that's a fucking jugular. Thank you. Here it is. The South talking shit to the North. Okay, here we go. Um, hey, don't take my shoes. Eh? No, here we go. Uh, Dennis, Dennis started comedy. He would take me on the road, but I don't know about a fucking comedy duo. We were like together back then. Well, yeah, he would, he would take me on the road a lot. Yeah, he, when I first started. I didn't started, know you guys were together like that. No, but we were cool, but, but not, a, not, not a, a comedy duo. fucking duo. Right that was but good you didn't shit. do comedy on stage together. No, nothing like that. It wasn't like fucking Lauren Hardy or anything like that. We weren't fucking heck on Jekyll either or anything like that. Play off me, bro. Bicycle. Damn. You went old school. You're going crates on me. You're digging in the crates, digging in these records. Hilarious. Who sabes? Si se. <laughs> no, no, wait a minute. There was another guy that they should do a, a comedy bit. They were like, bye. Yes. Circle. No, now, that, that, that was, uh, O'Brien and that was uh, Martin, Martin King. And, and 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 I forgot he had, he had another friend. Rolling oldies. No, in Martin King. Motown, they, and, Motown and, and more. more. What? Damn. That fool's <laughs> a pharmacist and lives in Lake Matthews over there. In there you go. Though. That's he came right. To my show in Riverside. The black dude, yeah. right? Yeah, he came the to my show in Toronto. But the Latino. Damn. Damn. No, no, yeah, no. He lives. He lives yes. in the IE. Yeah, yeah. Bro. yeah. Motown and more. Le- 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 no, they were great, man. The Le- great Le- fucking seven or eight minutes. He brought these fools in a, in a show out of nowhere. <laughs> he goes, Motown and more. And I keep looking at the flyer. Motown and more. Who the fuck is Motown and more? He goes, man, I can't have nobody singing, man. <laughs> and they weren't. <laughs> Willie said, they, they weren't. They were lip syncing. I can't be having somebody singing, bro. My little eyes and all they sing, did, bro. bro fools, and they lip sync. These fools put it out like a CD, mm-hmm. and they lip sync the whole yeah. act, bro. Yeah. It was eight minutes. Yeah, they have eight a big minutes. old joint. But it was a strong eight. They closed. That's even cool. Jay, even Jay Lamont's like, fuck, these guys are good. <laughs> <laughs> Even Jay Lamont was impressed. But it was crazy because that dude, that, that, that the Latino guy would get like on a bicycle. Yeah. Yeah. Uh-huh. yeah. But I thought that was you guys. No, it. man. God oh, damn it. That was not me. I know those Hilarious. Ones. I thought Modesto and more. Fucking jazz. Uh, <laughs> Stop hating on the 209. Man, man. Manny and more. <laughs> more Manny. How about that? So, I know, I know that Dennis started uh, way before Yeah, you. He, he started way before me. In the military. And he, like in 92, right? I think in the early 90s. And he's from, uh, he's from Oakland. And uh, yeah, yeah, he started way before me. So, but you do open mic and over there. Would there you was open? no open mics, man. We, I would just go to bars, and then uh, showcases were like in San Francisco, like the Punchline in San Francisco or Sacramento. That was it. We didn't, and we didn't have really open mics back then. We what was your first TV credit? <laughs> uh, BET in '98 and '99. I did BET. Yeah. Gary Gary Owen was hosting yeah. out here at the Normandy Casino, and then I did '99 when Lester Berry was hosting that shit. I forgot what I did. I must have done it the same year, 98. That's what you normally casino with a uh, dude. You probably did. You know how long, how long it takes for you to go on? All day. Hours. All day. It was like your call time was like 8. You go on like a fucking 9 or 10 in the evening. Uh, I don't know why they wanted you all day there, but it was just that was just how, how it was. But they had, like, it's, it's, the whole time I'm thinking about BT, you could just save money and have people show up when mm-hmm. you're when the boat to go up instead of having all these trailers yeah, all Yeah, swap out trailers yep. and all that, yeah. Yeah, those they are had long a ass for, days. They had a trailer for every individual comedian. Everybody Damn. had a fucking trailer. And it's funny that we do that, like, um, I think most urban shows, because 
when I did that Kevin Hart show, the other one, I had my own limo. No, oh, you did what? Lapapalooza? No, I did. Uh, no, it was one Mike's or it was one, one Mike stand, stand, or it stand? was the other one they did. Was well, Jamie Smooth hosting this? Yeah, uh, one Mike stand. Yeah, one Mike stand. stand. Okay. Yeah, it was. And they had a barber, right? They had a barber. Yeah, for uh-huh. everybody. Damn. In case anybody want to get faded up. But they <laughs> spent oh. a lot of money. Yeah, on man. Like everyone had a limo. No green room, but they had a limo. Like, <laughs> well, you told me to it. <laughs> that's your limo. If you need to, if you need to leave. You need to go eat. You need to go, go down the street. You need to go down the street. <laughs> yeah, go to, to fucking change, in and out or whatever. Yeah, nap. Let's go cruising, right Doug. <laughs> Let's go cruising <laughs> around one block in this fucking limo. I remember when I was going to that show, I was on my beach cruiser, bro. Mm-hmm. I didn't have no car because I already had crashed it. Mm-hmm. And I'm riding my bicycle, and I see Eric Andre waiting for the bus, and he's gonna get, he was on the same show. Oh, wow. Yeah, man. <laughs> yeah, man. <laughs> I met a lot of comedians at that show that are weird. Like, I met a guy named Mom. Um, he smoked me out. He's from New York. His name is um, Hot Top. Hot Top. Hot wow. Top. No, 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 no. He's from St. Louis. Light skinned oh. His name was his name was Hot Sauce. Hot oh, Hot Sauce. sauce. Oh, hot Sauce. Comedian. Yeah, I've heard of him. Hot and Sauce. And everything yeah. he does is Hot Sauce. <laughs> every once in a while, man, you need a little Hot Sauce in your life. Hey, so he would be. He was like the Chucky Ducky or Chucky Chucky Ducky, but just he would just say Hot Sauce all the time. Yeah, and there was another food, black food named Smoke. Smoke. Wow. He did have smoke, <laughs> and he was the whole time. He was telling me about this badass gig, bro, that he did in um, in the Bahamas. Mm. He goes, "It was the best time of my life. I didn't want to go back. <laughs> I didn't want to come back to Queens." He goes, "There were beautiful women drinking. They treated me like a king." But the people don't understand, bro. Once you stay there forever, you ain't no longer a king, man. You're back to being a president. Yeah, yeah, yeah. that's yeah. vacation. It's vacation, that's man. Vacation Don't get fooled mental. by that yeah. shit. <laughs> yeah, just vacation. That motherfucker co- <laughs> coming back home and shit, chilling over at Aloha for a month. I'm going to lie in instant in the car. Wow. Take me back to Kingston. <laughs> <laughs> well, me and Joy Medina, we met this couple after a show, mm-hmm. and his girlfriend, was, no, their, gr- their girlfriend or the girlfriend's sister was a kickboxer. Mm-hmm. And, um... <laughs> Bro, it got freaky, dog. <laughs> <laughs> For some reason, that guy's lady wanted to be with Joy Medina. For and some reason. For some reason. <laughs> wow. Probably and, like, whipped out that python, huh? <laughs> no, man. <laughs> <laughs> well, he was just talking to her. But uh, but I remember, like, I don't know how we all were in the bed, dog. <laughs> all of a sudden, you How in did the bed. it cut to this? Wait <laughs> yeah. a minute. What? It went fast forward into a bed. I don't know how we all got in the bed. You're all in the same bed? We got to go, how people go, go to vacation yeah. Yeah. and they come back <laughs> full of vacation. Full of vacation. Yeah. And yeah. No, that's not what we were talking about. We were talking about the same bed. With she was like, what's up? What, what's up with so the bed shit? That's what she wants to know. You never told me this story. never told me this story, goddammit. We met people after the show. <laughs> and it was Joy Medina, this girl who was like a, like a UFC fighter. Mm-hmm. Okay. This other girl who's like a friend of you, the UFC fighter, and that dude, and uh, some other person, man. You dog. Me, bro. My son, Joe. My son, Joe. <laughs> All right, so you hooked up with the kickboxer no, lady. No, 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 nobody. Oh. Yeah. He would just, he would just I, I do it play by play story. the whole time. Play <laughs> by play. Play by play. Why anybody. are you lying in bed with him? <laughs> I didn't hook up with anybody. <laughs> get my dick up. <laughs> <laughs> That's why I was ready, goddammit. You I got me over here like Michael Cohen. <laughs> <laughs> I'm telling no lie. Wow. I was saying God. <laughs> but dude, what was funny was that. It was me. But <laughs> <laughs> I like how the girl, other party, he's like the trying to just do it the best he can. Like this with Joy Medina. I uh-huh. don't know what that, what that dude. Oh, mm-hmm. that with the but other Joy guy. Uh-huh. Had it, with the other guy. Uh-huh. Joy Medina had his hand inside her leg, bro. Ooh. With that who not looking, bro. It felt weird, bro. Like 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 when fucking um <laughs> when Newman is making up with a landlord lady, bro. Yeah. Captain mm-hmm. Smooth over here. Mm-hmm. But that's funny how we all up in a bed. What? Yeah, that is very so, funny. Hilarious. So some, so some woman in the group <laughs> wanted to hook up with Joey Medina so bad that you ended up with in bed with everybody. <laughs> I don't know how we all ended up in the bed. How in the world does that happen? You're just having fun talking. Just, yeah, that that happen. We're just wrestling. Like, you guys never done that before. But We're just a wrestling. bonding experience. <laughs> we, we and Ricky Dunn kept laughing because we, we, we were not into it. <laughs> I right? feel like oh, I was there, yeah, dog. Sure. That fool had that fool lit two Hawaiian candles in the car. 
But we were driving, oh bro. My God. And they were playing Hawaiian music. <laughs> then that chick with all stone talking about what this music is about. <laughs> no, it's about this guy that used oh. to be a Hawaiian guy and mm -hmm. the surf took him. And if you hit this <laughs> pussy, then you'd not want to go home. <laughs> like, <so>. <laughs> 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 let's, let's get back to our guests. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. Le after that segue, you, might as well. You're from you know, Modesto. Uh, yes, you got a lot original. of beds in Modesto. Yeah. <laughs> I'll Jesus save my questions Christ. for later tonight. Jesus Christ, that's funny. I don't remember none of this. <laughs> <laughs> I remember you it's telling you and back. Ruben Quintana talking about that story. Wow. Because, dude, I heard this. Th you said like, Ruben Quintana. Yeah, because wow. I heard chicks wanted to get with the Joy Medina because that one was packing. That's the story I heard. That's, that's yeah. Okay. It's a very I rare I reason. I heard another story about Willie said it, bro. They wanted it to leak because he was ugly, dog. <laughs> 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 he got mad because he didn't want to get, they didn't want to get him, dog. Willie Bar said I don't hate anybody, dog. <laughs> Yeah, Don't fucking. push you to the chick. You take her, bro. <laughs> hey, how about that one time when fucking, hey, dog, <laughs> go with the open mic. Because <laughs> he, he took off with the chick and he got all mad. You ever, have, you ever, you ever got into shit with uh, Willie Barsana? Um, just one time, uh, but we actually just get along. One just one time. It, that's, that's not just one time. It's all it takes. He said, hey, bro, I say forever doing my set. Don't do it anymore. That's it. I forever? said forever one time, and he's all, he called me. And he's like, hey, what? bro. He forever? called me. Forever? I like, own syllables, dog. I, I, hey, I just want to let you know, I say forever, so don't say forever. I was like, are you serious right now? Uh, my, my grandmother like, brought that word from Graham Webster, bro. He's like, look, man, I've been on the, <laughs> then he started name dropping. I've been on the Tonight Show, blah, blah, blah. I've heard of that show. Yeah, I've heard of that show. And don't say forever. I'm like, okay, I guess. So it was no big deal. In but what forever. context? Forever. Just, I just, just said words, forever. Just I was just words. saying forever, like during a joke or so, whatever. And he caught wind of it, I guess. And this is before, before internet. And you know he so he called me. He didn't Wait, fucking Facebook me. Oh. You can't say internet. That's oh. my word. Well, that's your word. Okay. <laughs> that's weird. Oh yeah. It, but we that's actually did a show weird. not that long ago in El Paso, and he it was great to see him. He, you know he. Where at? Uh, we did some casino show. Uh, me, Zhivago, and and Willie. It was a fun show. It was Willie's gig. Yeah, it was Willie's gig. Yeah, yeah, and he, it was a good time. And I heard he's a changed man. Uh, he was he was actually very nice. That's good uh, behavior. <laughs> great behavior, actually. <laughs> Great behavior, and, and it's been it's been a while since I seen him, but he he was really cool, man. Want to capture a little uh, a little comedian in the restaurant, bro, in El uh, Paso, dog. Give him the famous Gordo, bro. <laughs> 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 like <a> South <laughs> Texas comedy <laughs> tour. Hey, buddy, I'm gonna let that slide, bro. Wow. <laughs> See, I never got in any Willie stories like, like that. You never got the famous. No, Gordo? I never got or the, the Gordo karate kick. Or, or the karate kick. I always heard those stories from other comedians. Like, hey man, good show. Bam. You know what I mean? I never, I never got you that. You wrestle dog. You have a wrestle dog. Well, here comes. Bam. And I never got the DDT yeah. or none of that shit. You know, I hear all the stories, but no. Nah. He's wearing Willie jacket, his son's jacket, bro. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Wow. So no, I, I no, no Willie. So you a Dodger fan or what? No, believe it or not, dude, I'm You're not. You're a Mets fan, right? I'm a Mets fan, yeah. But oh, I respect the I like Dodgers. The you went fucking jalapeno, right? Yeah, jalapeno. I'm, I'm a, I win the Mets. Caesar's a, a fucking Mets fan, oh. a comedian. Caesar okay. Mm. From Fresno. Okay, no. Toronto. I, I, I respect the Dodgers, but I'm, I'm a Mets fan. But I, well, a couple years ago when the Mets beat the, the Dodgers in the playoffs, I was there for like two of the what games. What was that? Casari. 2015, remember? Wow, I've never seen the Mets play the Dodgers. Me neither. Oh, now we forgot. It's no. only 20, <laughs> it was only 2015. It's documented now. It's only 2015. Wow. In the playoffs? Yes. The Mets, the Mets eliminated the, the Dodgers in the first round. Uh, I don't oh, the that's Mets. right, because we beat the Braves, yeah. and they went up, we, we were allowed to play the Mets, and that, they had that pitcher with a long hair, right? Yeah, Thor, uh, Thor and He's DeGrom. Bad, yeah. So I forgot we didn't go through that playoff game probably. Yeah, well, I'm sure you did. That was before the money. But so if, we I, were, but so if we I look in your timeline on your Instagram, I'm sure I'll, see, I'll find whatever. some evidence. Look, we, never go, we never go to no Mets game because we, we always go to the WAC game. We always <laughs> end up getting Colorado Rapids <sighs> games. I hate them. These, the, these were the playoffs, so you were there. Stop fronting. You're good. You were there. It's okay. You're in denial. It's all right. You were there. Who the, who, who's their center fielder? The Mets center fielder? It was Cespedes at the time. You're trying no. to think of who you're talking shit to? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> left fielder. Left fielder. Le no the field time. pavilion. Left fielder. No, During center, that time? Center field would be the one. That center field. That left it field was, it, was, it was Cespedes. No, because I talked shit to the third, to the, third? To somebody else. Oh, shit. Left fielder? Tourist. 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 I'm trying to figure out who. No, you were talking shit to uh, Granderson. Curtis no. Granderson, because he was, he was playing left field that year. No, somebody else, man, with a with a H. He had a weird last name. And we looked up his wife, and then you, you were yelling his wife's name. Oh, no. oh, oh, it was right? like Holiday. Name? It was Holiday yeah. or something no, like Matt that. No, Matt Holiday uh, never played for the Mets. Matt Holiday. Holiday. He never played for the Mets. Because there was somebody that we looked up, and we found out who his wife's name. And, and then you started talking shit to the wife. The whole that's, night. Cool. that's cool. 
He was, but we won that, that series. That was the Cubs, so cool. I think. <laughs> that was oh, that Cubs. was the Cubs. Yeah. yeah. Z? That's a whole oh, different man. team. Z, yeah. we're off. Yeah. You're off. He, he's yeah. married to like a Christian, a Christian music singer. So who wiped like up that? the Mets the, to go to the to, no, to, to make it to the World Series? Well, the Mets went to the World Series last year, and then they got handled by the Royals that year in 2015. That's when oh. uh, the Royals yeah. they had a good yeah. squad. They had a great, great team. So, you yeah. know, but well, Daniel Murphy was killing it through all the playoffs. He destroyed the Dodgers and everybody else. And then when he got to the World Series, he, he just was couldn't do it in Kansas yeah. City. He couldn't do it in Kansas City, man. So it was just one of those things. Did but they come back in the playoffs? Ne- ne- the they did. Year? They did. The they, they, were, they were in a one-game playoff, and they lost against the Giants. And then we haven't been back since. But that's still my team. I still like the Raiders like you. It's been a hard year. It was a hard year. Hard years. Hard years. <laughs> <laughs> it's been a What's hard up? year. Boom! What's up, Food Podcast? What's up? Yeah. What's up, dog? Uh, man. What yeah. up, Manny? Have you guys been to the stadium, Met Stadium? Um, I've never been. <laughs> I, I, I'd want. I want to go to City Field. That'd be great. Um, but I'm more. I'm more into football. Football and uh, football and baseball are my thing. I, I like football a lot. This was the first year I didn't go to a Raider game. It was kind of hard. Oh man, this is the first year I did go to a Raider game. <laughs> <That's your fault. laughs> so you, you, <laughs> you you went this year. This was your first a conundrum. time. So what'd you think about the experience? That was awesome, dude. Yeah. I, I like. I'm not really into football, but I love Raider fans because what they're always like? into it. I know you don't like fucking meat. I know you, you know you're a <laughs> vegan, which is cool. Nothing wrong with being a vegan. But what do you like? I like wine and painting at yeah. the Pasadena. Comic okay. books. All right, all right. Comic books. Comic hockey. Books. He said, "All right." It's hockey. You like hockey? Okay. Wrong podcast. Dog. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> what the puck? <laughs> what the puck was earlier? So it's uh, okay. I want fool like be liking shit that nobody likes just to say they like it. Curling. <laughs> What do you like? Oh, I like man. Pink Floyd. No, you don't. <laughs> you should know. You, like you, you should know what I like. What I, what I like. Star Wars. Remember? I like Star Wars. Star Wars toys. Mm. I'm weird like that. No. It was a what? No. Yeah, yeah. No. Edwin San Juan is collecting. Then you got shit on mine. He knows that. It was a one little old wizard, bro. Edwin has, San Juan has a great collection, but nothing like mine. Really? But, I've never seen yeah. yours, yeah. but plus, I heard you have a mean plus, one. Edwin plus, Edwin sold a lot of stuff. Though, he like. sold a lot You're of a stuff. Lonely ass kid, huh? Yeah, very lonely. So he sold a lot of st- <laughs> he sold a lot of stuff, but he's into Marvel. No, the, the kids they have all the cool toy, bro. They didn't have no brothers. When you have brother, you can't even have brother. toys. Eh? I didn't have brother. Yeah, no. it's broken in one day. Yep. Fuck you. Hey, bro, do you have that um, <laughs> that Darth Vader whole carrying case mm-hmm. with all the little mm-hmm. toys inside? That's badass, bro. Yeah, of course, I still. My got homeboy it. Dino had that shit. My dog. brother Johnny had that. Too. He still has it. No, no. He destroyed everything he had for some reason. If you have brother, that's all that last, stuff. Bro. I look back. He, he, had this, on it. he had this die-cast little. Die-cast. Uh, remember yeah. in uh, yeah, the third? Well, the I don't know. I guess it's the bro. sixth episode, Return of the Jedi. Mm-hmm. But third one for me. Yes. <laughs> anyway. No, it, it is third one for me too. That's good. That's good stuff. Yeah. But anyway, uh, <laughs> but when he's oh well, maybe it's not Return of the Jedi. It's when he's in the frozen tundra. Oh, the um, Empire Strikes Empire Back. Strikes back. Yeah. Sorry. <laughs> so when he goes there and then that abominable snowman thing, they had this little die cast set and it was a little cave mm-hmm. and Luke can hang upside down. A little die cast Luke can hang upside down That's and cool. you can clip his legs inside the little cave. And then there's a little abominable snowman Give him a thing, massage. whatever that no. thing was, <laughs> like a Yeti thing. I don't no, know. No, it was a Tauntaun that he was on. A Tauntaun? The Tauntaun was dead. No, no, not the Tauntaun. <laughs> it wasn't the Tauntaun. It was a white, furry <laughs> creature. That, no, that was a abom- little abominable snowman. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, you're, yeah right. Okay, you're right. You're okay, right. You got it right. Yeah. You got it right. No, the Tauntaun, Tauntaun was different. But there was a toy of the Tauntaun where he had a hatch that he could go into yeah. and yeah. he could come out the stomach. My brother had that one. That's cool. That's that's worth money. That's worth money. But. No They're more. all gone. They're all gone. No, but I think back about all the great toys Pelicans. that he had. That so he had a lot of so cool awesome. toys like that. That's yeah. real cool, man. Oh, that was real cool. cool. Oh, man, I had nothing but sisters. We had a Barry Barbie. That was horrible. So you take medication? <laughs> Barry well, Barbie. You're not taking medication right Not now? anymore. I'm good now. Thank you. You don't take Ritalin? Uh, I used to back in the day. God, here the, we go. Here, we're here comes the goddamn yeah. ADD <laughs> stories. <laughs> so doing, bring it on. We're doing, we did a big ass show, right? At <laughs> Scottsdale, bro. That's right. Me, you, and Joey. Joey Medina for the lawyers. It's hilarious. <laughs> and um, was I drinking, bro? No, no, you weren't. <laughs> but you were drinking. I was drinking, and you're all Manny. Um, no, the fool told me. He told, he told <laughs> me. He told somebody about his his um taking pills. Uh huh. I was taking pills. He was, then I said, "Wow, oh, bro, I'm sorry, bro." I thought back in the days, you were just annoying. I, I thought purpose. you were just annoying on purpose. I was like, "That is a compliment and a diss at the same time." But I'll really, take it was it. It was a compliment and a diss, <laughs> I guess. You're like, because if you were on Ritalin and you were annoying, the 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 Ritalin wasn't doing his job. But if you weren't on Ritalin, something like Ritalin. that. But I'm okay now. I'm good. So you don't take it no more. 
No, I diagnose. I, I, uh, yeah, a little self diagnosis, and uh, I haven't been taking it for like the last. You're holding your hand like you're plotting something and shit. <laughs> 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 last, uh, it's been a long, long time. But you've outgrown it. You think that's what's happened in your I, body? I, like I, your I think mind? so. Yeah. I think so. She's like Bush Escobar, bro. He eats avocados though. Before <laughs> he still kill him. Did it help you? What? Taking the medication. It did and didn't at some time. Did sometimes. it fuck with you too? It fucked with me too. Yeah, it, it would. It would have uh, like weight gain. And sometimes I couldn't sleep. Uh, sleep. My sleep pattern was always messed up. I would only sleep for like I don't know, like four, maybe four hours. Sometimes it was it was a mess. So I'm a lot better now. It's a stimulant. Right? Yeah, <laughs> I it mean is. it's like it because is. the the idea is that you Chills fight. You out, right? So you took yeah, well, only if you have a, you a little um, a hyperactivity no. disorder, ADHD. No. If you have ADHD, then Ritalin will have the opposite effect. Okay. But if you took it and you don't have it, it would Woo! be like speed. It would be scary if yeah. you took it. Yeah, I mean it would. But so his body is giving him the reaction from the speed, but it's helping his ADHD. You know what I mean? Like it's like it's helping that, but the side effect is affecting his actual body, his sleep patterns and all that stuff. Yeah, and it, was, that's it, was, it was it was a trip. Damn. But I'm good now. <laughs> 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 yeah. What's so uh, could you uh, who who who's did who stopped taking who who said who told you to stop taking the pills? Dr. Phil or what? <laughs> no, it wasn't no. Dr. Phil. Smart ass. That's funny. No, it you know, was. You know, the little baby Dr. Phil, bro. <laughs> baby Phil. You were hanging out with Dr. Phil, yes, right? Yes, I was. I was. Uh, you were his DJ. No, I was not his DJ. <laughs> That's hilarious. Look at bad information, man. Who <laughs> fucking wrote this? Whatever. <laughs> no, <laughs> no, no, no. You do a little. No, no, there. Let's <laughs> your wife does a little Google search, and here we go with the Dr. Phil jokes. <laughs> I love it. I didn't okay. write no, any bro. notes. <laughs> That's not notes. You don't know, bro. That's tour I keep track of everybody, bro. I know you do. I keep track of everybody. You're on the road and shit, right? No, he just gets half information. I mean, you thought I was a fucking comedy duo 20 minutes ago. I mean, for crying out loud. So, I mean, <laughs> you, were, bro. you, know you thought I was part of Motown and more for crying out loud. What are you fucking talking about, Doc? <laughs> That's all. Oh, here we go. No, but what happened, bro? No, um, I was, a, I was a, a guest panelist. The topic was about racism and stereotypes. What episode so people could find it, bro? Oh, man, <laughs> I, I don't even remember, Let bro. Let me tell you, man. Is there <laughs> anything else you can say about rice and Medea stuff? That sounds like a badass Forrest Gump. That's, that sounded <laughs> <laughs> uh, Paul, Paul Mooney was on that show, too. He was a Paul Mooney. Let me tell you about this, Dr. Phil. <laughs> Motherfuckers will kill your ass. Did anybody <laughs> else get a word in at with Paul uh, being one of the it, I barely got a couple words in, but Paul, <laughs> Paul, Paul Mooney. You're right. Paul, Paul Mooney pretty much. Settle down, little Mexican man. Paul, <laughs> take, <laughs> take over. <laughs> <laughs> wow! Look at Godzilla right here. Godzilla. <laughs> but what was over that panel, dog? It was it was a trip. It was just you know they the just, bullshit in the end or what? It's it's all bullshit. Okay. You know, it was all, <laughs> it's, it's all bullshit. It was about race and all that. that race and stereotypes, and they just wanted a Latino's point of view. Bam, threw in my. What happened to you? What, what story you made up in there? That oh happened my god! What, what, Who'd you <laughs> pay to beat you up, dog? No. <laughs> <laughs> I don't remember. This is fucking 2009. The 2009. Yeah, it was 2009. Yeah, yesterday. What? No. 2009. <laughs> That's. The, <laughs> act like it was yesterday. Fucking <laughs> Beatles, eh? Yesterday. <laughs> but it's a great to be on this podcast. This is like a fucking. This is like the new TV credit. Actually, to be honest with you. Hell yeah. I thought I was gonna get this before Don't I got Montreal. I was bugging. <laughs> I was in Montreal. Oh, yeah, I did Montreal last year. Oh, fun. congratulations, bro! The ball fucking it, it, time. It was fucking cool. It was fuck. I wish there were more people would have done it with you instead of being the only Latino there. Man, that's hilarious. Oh, man. There well, was like there one. was a couple of other ones too. Hey, bro, it's fun. It huh? was it was it great. Was it was fun. one of the funnest it experiences. Was, it's good to be with your friends, huh? It was it was like a Super Bowl for comedians. It's really oh, fun. Yeah. It was really fun. Did you do your, show, did you do your young comedian show? No, I did. Um, I did. I taped for the Kevin Hart LOL. That's badass. That was great. And then I did a couple other shows while I was out there. So it was really fun. I was out there for like three days, dude. Fuck so it was dude. fun. Cool. When, they when flew the, me out and everything, so it was cool. When fucking Fluffy told me he went to Montreal, all, all his story were nasty, bro. <laughs> he said I went to a strip bar and he was paying these cheap two, there were these two girls dancing in front of him in front of a table. I, do they get down like that? Dude, I've been to strip clubs Ooh. in Toronto, dog, and it's off the fucking hook. They do like whatever. I, the LA ain't shit, New York ain't shit. They do whatever. They're fully nude. I don't know about they do whatever. I use that's, coins, right? That's what guys gotta tell you. Coins. I don't know coins. Fucking coins. strip club you going to? I don't know. Chuck E. Cheese shit is this. Do you take Where's shit? Where's Lord Benton? He's gonna catch me getting these holes. A half a shilling. Please. Half a shilling. <laughs> <laughs> could I have a whore? A shilling? Can I have a shilling whore house coins. are you at? Coins. Coins. This motherfucker talking about coins. Who's the strip bar, bro? Fucking Venezuela? <laughs> Shillings. Oh my god. I got like 90 million. I got some sand dollars. 
No, so that, that was okay. Yeah. Baby Ben took a <laughs> Yeah, she's, but uh, wow. yeah, fucking strip clubs are off the hook again. Did you go to any? No, I didn't. I was uh, the whole time we were just partying at the fucking uh, the hotel at the. They had all Did these. Did you drink any beer? Oh, I drank some beer. Beer strong, huh? Beer's real good out there. It was, it was good. Good. like eight percent, right? Yeah, it was really yeah, good. Yeah, they had all those food food places to go. I mean, it was it was a blast. <laughs> Dirty it's ass big, shoes. It's, huh? it's big now. It's, it's huge. <laughs> Did you do any coke over there? Any coke? I didn't do any fucking yayo. <laughs> <laughs> I did not do any yeah, fucking yo, I did huh? not do any fucking yayo. Yeah, Man, I went to this part after party where they had coke in a fucking in the club. The guy put it on a table mm-hmm. and I was getting ready like like I was looking around to, to, to see who's gonna be first. <laughs> right? And then the guy just fucking wet his cigarette and rolled it on the coke and lit it and lit it. And lit it up. And I fucking put my head down and I said this must be stupid. <laughs> Doing yeah. a little fucking empty well, Pancho Pinky. I went like this afterwards so I get something. But, <laughs> <laughs> but he smoked it right there, bro. Like, and then he passed it to me, bro. Mm-hmm. Who wants to smoke a weak ass primo, eh? Right. So that was that my guy. story, bro. Bro, I ended up Thank you for I ended up going the to their story. house uh-huh. and left their house at seven in the morning. Like okay. they were all speaking French. Yeah. I didn't speak shit. What the, I don't understand what the fuck they're saying. They probably were saying, when is this fool going to leave? I didn't even know them, bro. <laughs> <laughs> That's the best way to party. Yeah. No, it was, it's, it was good times out there, man. It was, it was really fun. <coughs> really fun. Who was there? Alonzo Bowden? Yeah, he's there no matter what. I, they, they, yeah, you know, he's hey, there. Somebody's got to hold that make sure everybody <laughs> turns it down. He's there every year. He's a staple. He's a staple. <gasps> he's there. You know, Maz is out there. All, all the, you know, everybody. It's funny, bro. That ethnic <laughs> show that ethnic show at fucking uh, Mon- at Montreal mm-hmm. ended up being... They only want like the, the one who want to be too ethnic, mm-hmm. but they can't find them, bro. So they're making them some, bro. They got um, Italians. Mm-hmm. They had um, they had um, Sebastian Manicasto on that shit because Maron. because in Montreal he's ethnic. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sebastian definitely. did that. When did he do that? He did that like in two thousand something. Wow, okay. that's crazy. When's the last time you you've, went out there? You've turned oh, down. Five. You've oh, turned five? down, but they only offer the ethnic show, and uh, we've turned it down three times. So you, 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 you should, you should I don't have get the gala. I ain't doing it. Yeah, you got. Yeah, you gotta have. You got. You're ready for your gala. I mean, you would. You would destroy that shit. Yeah, there's no need for yeah. him to do the ethnic show. Yeah. When I did um, oh. when I did the fucking Montreal in 2005, mm-hmm. that's when the Flight of the Condors got their deal. Concords. Mm. Flight of the Concords. They were the hottest thing, bro. Everybody was wallowing them and shit. And they were like, who are these dudes? Yeah, they don't really do any deals anymore. They were walking around, bro, like. Um, Motown and more right here. We were seeing them <laughs> in the house. Motown and more. <laughs> I'm gonna fucking remember that shit for a long. What's time. up, Manny and more? Manny and more. <laughs> Manny Maldonado. You're a hunky Latino, huh? Manny more. <laughs> Manny more. Oh my god. What have been the hardest headliner to work with? Oh man, shit. Uh, probably. Uh, fuck. What the hell was that dude's name? Have you worked with Craig Robinson before? I never had to. Work. I worked with him actually one time at Modesto Junior College. He was actually a nice guy. He's he, a nice guy. He's, he's really guy. cool, dude. Really cool. Dude. Nothing bad to say about I him. I worked with him in um, that one gig they used to have in uh, Mesquite. Mesquite. At? It was a, it was a casino. In Casablanca. Oh. Okay. Yeah, yeah. That was the, that was the first time I ever had um, coconut shrimp. Okay. <laughs> Another comic told me, bro, take the gig, bro. They have coconut shrimp. <laughs> <laughs> That's the best. Man. Well, it was Andre Paradise. It was Andre and then, um, Paradise. You want to so buy a DVD? He goes, I never had um, coconut shrimp. Uh-huh. So I go over there, and the, the, the feature night was Craig Robinson, mm-hmm. and the headliner was some dude I never met before. Mm-hmm. And I did eat a lot of coconut shrimp, bro. I felt like a fat, you know, I felt like one of those, you know like when you're a kid, and you, you want to eat something, but they tell you no. So you finally get a chance to eat it, so you eat the whole thing. Right. That's how I was with the coconut shrimp. You just tearing oh. it. You just tearing I it ate up. it before the show. Mm-hmm. Then I kept saying, bring more, bring more. <laughs> and I all eat that shit in the morning all cold, dog. <laughs> I'm like, bring me the shrimp boat. <laughs> <laughs> now, now you can do the voice. Now you can do the voice. Good. Nah. <laughs> Sometimes I would think I'd get gifts for the food. I'm pretty sure that's why Wild Coyotes did. Um, that's why Joe Diaz did Wild Coyotes. Because he would get a green pork burrito. It's ridiculous that they got rid of food because they had like four more hours of night when they got rid. Like they would end the menu at like nine, mm-hmm. and then you guys would your show would start at what like eight or something like that, and then you go to like midnight. That's two why o'clock. you go to the back and you get handfuls of stuff. <laughs> <home Yeah. on>. <laughs> <laughs> but like just to have one guy on for like four, like thirty-five bucks. What to pay some guy, you know? 
Somebody thought you were Polly Shore on the show, bro. Look at this boy, Polly Shore. Oh, that's, <laughs> that's, that's, that's man. Okay, I guess. Do some Polly Shore, bro. He was 25. I, 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 the weasel. I don't know. <laughs> the weasel. I mean, that's weird. Okay, Polly Shore is. Pussy, buddy. <laughs> What's up, Food Podcast? So, um, you've be, you been working with uh, Big Boy? Um, yeah, and we're gonna do a. We do. Sh I do shows with him once in a while. We're gonna do a big show in Long Beach with Mike Epps. Is actually gonna be on that show too. What day is that? Uh, March 29th. So that'll be a big show. I think. I think it's the Long Beach Theater. Uh, Terrace, or something. I forgot what it's that called. Is that where uh, Richard Pryor reported? I ass think so. Show, huh? Yeah, that's gonna be a, that's gonna be a fun show. Because of Mike Epps. Damn. Yeah, because um, of Mike exactly. Because of Mike <laughs> Epps, Epsy. Uh, but yeah, Big Boy's a cool guy. We try to do shows with him once in a while, and he's just uh, you know we do some improvs here and there. So you know it's it's always fun to do those shows. You he know, was I, Eric Blake, huh? Yeah, Eric Blake. Yeah, he's out there, you know, hustling and grinding. Yeah. He still do the hand thing still. Uh, I haven't seen that in a while, but I do remember that. I haven't seen it in a while, too, huh, fuck? <laughs> oh, here we go. <laughs> An another hand comic. Okay, great. <laughs> hey, hands off. Hands off. Hands on. No, but I haven't seen him do that. Do Big Dunlop did it back in the day, too. I think a lot of comics. Yeah, it's, it's a Bond very Bill stock, yeah, very, totally. Very stock thing, yeah. So a guy in HBO Def Jam did it. Yeah, okay. we saw an old one. That was that from, was like, the 87 one. or something like that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. well, I'm going to bring it back, bro. <laughs> You're going to bring it back? I'm going to bring it back, but I'm going to bring it back, but I'm going to bring it with short arms. Or just get a girl up there and you put your hands behind. <laughs> just start, I'm going to do it with legs, bro. <laughs> do it with legs. <laughs> yeah, I got here with a wheelchair. And then I kicked him <laughs> in the ding ding. <laughs> That'd be funny. Like, like, you bring a guy with a like a family guy, bro. That fucked up, man. They made um, they made a, they made Joe, they made Joe the, the runner of their movie, uh -huh. and they did fucking put a little green screen on his fucking wheelchair, oh, so it looked like he's run, he's running. But he wasn't. That's he so wasn't. wrong. That's so wrong. Stephen Hawking. Stephen Hawking, right, bro? Chris Tucker. Uh, no, I, you said. Uh, it's, it's <laughs> pissed off, man. No, uh, Chris Rock. You ever had a neighbor ball your shit for so long? No, um, no, 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 <laughs> no fuck Chris that. Rock. Chris, Chris Rock. 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 Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Chris I shared that shit. That shit was good. Thank you, man. That's a, that's do a, it, bro. That was the first time I ever did. Good lord, don't you hate it when you're doing the What's Up Fool podcast and Rodrigo doing Joey's Diaz motherfucking voice for no motherfucking reason? Absolutely. Come on, <laughs> Rodrigo. Do, do, do Chris Rock doing um uh, commentary on Gabriel Iglesias begging to be in the Oscars. <laughs> the heat is oh, on. Okay, okay, all right. Um, no, you don't, if on. you need help, bro, we'll show you the video. No, no, no. <laughs> Let's change. This motherfucker this was begging, bro, to be a, like, to he was begging, bro. Gabriel, like, yeah, bro, Gabriel come Gracias, on. Dude, you're a big ass star. You should be begging to host the Oscars, puto. Gabriel, <laughs> what the fuck, dog? Gabriel. That shit embarrassing, right, dog. Hold on, hold on, hold on. And then begging that me and Dev Jenham, Dev Jeff Dunham should do a show together. What the fuck? Hold on, bro. So, so it'd tell be, him more. Tell okay, him so, more. so okay, <laughs> tell him many more. All right. So if you want it would be Gabriel begging to be on the Oscars in Chris Rock's voice. Okay. Yeah. All right. Um, it's like stop begging. Okay. Stop begging, Gabriel. You can only host <laughs> Ken Locos. You're never gonna host the Oscars. Come on and take off that fruity ass motherfucking shirt. <laughs> Yeah, I guess. I they, guess. Because <laughs> Gabriel did a bit about Chris Rock calling him the king of the Mescus. Yeah, I kind of, yeah. Do <laughs> it, bro. I saw that. Yeah. Do it on Chris Rock, dog. That was kind of weird. <laughs> it was kind of weird because, yeah. I thought George Lopez was the king. You know, you know, it's all good. It's, it, you know, it's all good. It's, it's, all, it's, all, it's all good. You know, that's. I thought it was funny, man. Yeah, thank I mean, you. I laugh at everything, man. You thought what was funny? Everything. Oh. <laughs> That video that one that Fluffy did oh, about man. the Oscar, that shit was. That, that I had no idea that. That joke was so funny, man. I had no idea he he wanted to do that. You didn't see it? No. I had no idea. When did this come out? Here. <laughs> it came out of during, he had a whole campaign, bro, to, oh, wow. to promote it. I, I, I shared it, bro. I mean. Homeboy was on TV. I, mean, I, I did what I could. You know, I only have like 100,000 followers, man. Yeah. I don't have a million. I only have 2,000 something. We, so no, we, I, we I, share it. We try, I, I, bro. I, I, yeah, get yeah. one person. I put an e, e, e fund me, bro. I got a lot of fuck mano. you. Who the fuck is that? <laughs> oh, man. That's that's weird that he would. Yeah, but whatever. But you know what? To, 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 to each their own. Hey, I did. When, when I wanted to be on the Eric Andre show, I did my own video, too. Mm -hmm. But I got on the show. But you, but you made it. You made it. Please welcome tonight's host, <laughs> comedian, actor, Gabriel Iglesias. <laughs> Good evening, ladies and gentlemen.
and gentlemen, and, uh, and welcome to the Oscars. Uh, I am your host, Gabriel Iglesias. So, uh, so I got to tell you guys, in keeping with tradition uh, here at the Oscars, uh, here's another Mexican doing a job no one else wants. Chilly. In all honesty, I didn't really want the job. I just wanted to see if I could pass the background check. <laughs> Look, Javier Bardem is dying. That was in the beginning. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to the Academy of... Wow. Yeah. yeah I mean, you know, production values in yeah. that. Production it's values, pretty, pretty impressive. I need, I, need, I need to make one of those to, to, to get on fucking, <laughs> to get back on Superstore, bro. <laughs> 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 to get back on Superstore. So they didn't write, they didn't write you That's a reoccurring, that's a reoccurring. I've been on it three times. Yeah, yeah, three they, times? Didn't, they didn't write him in this season. Yeah, yeah, What's up with I, that? I already have my own episode, bro. Like, that's I get deported, <laughs> calling him my real name. Steve is giving him ideas. Maybe that's why he's Hey, man, to each their own, that's that's a nice little campaign. I knew I was going to get back on, bro, when I had to improvise, making fun of what's her name, bro, and my shit was... And when I made fun of her, everybody everybody died. Mm. <laughs> and, and when I went to watch it on TV, they cut it. Oh. <laughs> I said, what's up with that big ass teeth? <laughs> everybody <laughs> went, ooh. <laughs> Even my standing was scared to go back over there, bro, and do my standing stuff. He said, So you, you had a stand in? G. Okay, you had a stand in for a not Felipe? Yeah, this no, the, the, Felipe. my stand in mm -hmm. for the superstore is a stand in for the guy in a wheelchair. Oh. Yes, yeah, so we have the same skin tone. Okay, yeah. so they said, let's just cut. So you could be the hand. You 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 would probably be the stand-in for Howie Mandel. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah so probably. they called him Howie Mandel. But <laughs> active brother. Earlier. Okay. Wow. Now now Howie's in the house. Great. We went from Paul Shore to fucking. Oh Howie. my God! This was Howie Mandel. I don't know what's worse, Fluffy and the Oscars or Ernie G. Nah, bro. Ernie G. Singing is the worst. It's worse than anything. Oh, Ernie G. It gives you the biggest douche. I chills. think Ernie. What's, wow. what's the biggest <laughs> douche thing? I, the Ernie G. Singing. Two did references. You, did, you, did you see that, the Ernie G singing? No, but to well, I've heard two proud fucking... Proud to be a Latino American. Yeah. Wow, this is tough. These are two references <laughs> I didn't think I was going to fucking hear today. Motown and more and fucking Ernie G. I don't oh, know which... Man. I'm just the, trying to fuck college chicks, bro. <laughs> I'm a motivational speaker, bro. He is, bro. That's it. <laughs> when you're not doing comedy anymore. When you're not doing comedy anymore. 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 You're not Oh, Chippewa. Yeah, okay, that's yeah. cool. Yeah. That's cool. And, uh, yeah. and then um, that one comedian from Houston who number, was number two. And uh, Kenny was number three. Keith Manning. The Kidnap Keith, Oh, Keith Manning? Keith Manning. Okay, all right, all right. Yo, what's up, man? How you doing? No, not Keith no, Manning. No, it was Theo. Theo. Theo Taylor. Why <laughs> you said Ernie G? God damn, man, that's funny. What's up? Well, you got days coming up? Yeah, I got um, this weekend. I'm going to I'm gonna be working at the Laugh Factory on Friday in Long Beach. Uh, Saturday, I'll be at the Ventura Harbor Comedy Club. And then I got that big show on the 29th at the Long Beach Theater with uh, Big Boy and uh, Mike Epps. And you did like Portland, right? You did that show? Yeah, I do I do Harvey's when I can. You did Harvey's it's with fun. Renee Garcia. <laughs> I took Renee with me. Yeah, when yeah I that was tight, bro. Those, those are, yeah, are you in a new duo now with Renee? I'm sorry, what? You're in a new duo now with Renee. Oh, here we go. Now, <laughs> now, now your girl's talking shit. I love it. Now she's like, yeah, me too, bitch. Uh, no. That's not like a Puerto Rican group, Renee Manny. <laughs> Uh, who are you going to go see? Manny and Rene? <laughs> <laughs> Los Bukis? No, vamos a ir a ver Manny and Rene. Hey, did you guys go like, they, did you guys hang out with the, the waist down? Did you go under the, the club? I've, the I've, seen, I've seen the underground stuff before. Not this time, but yeah. Who I've seen did you meet the owner, Dan? He's no, still alive? no, no. The owner, the owner is still um, Barry. He owns the building. Barry Colin. <coughs> no, I don't know. I think his last name is is that. Yeah, yeah I yeah. know him. Yeah, you know Barry, right? Yeah. Did you stay in a condo? That he no, 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 no more condo because he, he doesn't he doesn't uh, he retired. He lives in Palm Springs. All right. So he has other people and they just put you in a ho hotel now. But before you'd have to stay in the condo. Did you stay in a condo before? Yeah, I have. Yes. Fucking yeah. weird, bro. It was weird as no shit. No right to the club. No right. You gotta like, fucking, fuck. You gotta find your. You gotta fucking figure out. Figure out shit. As soon as you get to the airport. Yep. There's one time. One time it was snowing, oh. and that was a fucking pain in the ass. Oh. Yeah. So you had to catch the train and wait for him to pick you up it and drive you to the club. You had to walk to the club. We 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 got we got a cab, all the nights. I, I took uh, Jack Asadorian one time. Jack Junior. Jack Junior. Yeah, yeah, Jack Junior. But yeah, it's it's a it's a fun. Please think, huh? <laughs> <laughs> we didn't sleep in the same bed. Oh. Damn it, shit. <laughs> so that's always a fun show. Bro, I was I was at that comedy condo, mm -hmm. and um. The last night, dude, I smoked the I, well, I smoked the fattest joint every night. But this night, I threw the joint down, mm -hmm. and I remember it hit some leaves, and there was people living downstairs. And I remember looking down, and the whole time I thought it was a cherry. Like, oh shit! So I still went to sleep. 
Right. <laughs> but at night, I was thinking that uh, every, I, 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 I dram that I lit the whole condo on fire and they took I, they were not, they didn't want to pay me. Man but when I looked down in the morning, it was a it was a coke can that was stuffed in the in the bottom. Good wow. thing. Wow. Fucking fireball. I spent Thanksgiving. I did Thanksgiving weekend. At Thanksgiving that club weekend. Okay. And um, Barry's house was right next door. Right, he's next door neighbor. And I, and I spent Thanksgiving dinner at their fucking house. That's cool. With a whole fucking family, dog. They fed you good though. They fed me good, but it was weird. Like, <laughs> like his older brother, mm -hmm. like, he, like the, the the mom brought up something about the brother like winking a lot, mm -hmm. and then like, I don't know, it got too personal, bro. It's like, it's like for, calling for you, a, yeah. It's like calling somebody a tartamudo. Huh? Calling somebody a, 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 by a stuttering name, mm -hmm. but he don't stutter no more. Yeah, but that triggered him to stutter because he oh. pissed him off or hurt him. So he got he That's got the moment I felt that I felt bad, man. Because the mom said, "Remember, Tom, you used to have that clicking tongue." He goes, I, I, "I never did that before." And then all of a sudden, it came out because he got mad. And went, <laughs> yeah, and then it came back. <laughs> there it is. <laughs> there like, it is. Oh. That's fucked. Pass, you know, pass the gravy. Pass the gravy, please. <laughs> Well, this motherfucker didn't give me a no. I, I I had to um I cut the bus. Wow. Over there every day, and every day after the show I would run. This is before before Uber. Yeah, I would yeah. catch the, the bus. Yeah, yeah, because they always have a, a yeah. bus not that far from there. Yeah. I would catch I would catch hit a fat ass bowl, mm -hmm. and then get in the bus and then take all the way. Then once soon as the show ended, I would run, bro, to the bus stop because the, <laughs> the bus the bus left the last bus left at midnight, so the next I would catch at eleven fifteen. Wow. So the charge that's right. For the food. That's right. That's right. Yeah, man. That's oh, right. Oh yeah, that's the right. Bus. They charge you like they half charge, price. They charge half, half for price the for the for the food. That's some shit, right? But yeah. they're, they're under some new ownership now. It's it's not bad. Is they actually treat treat you who pretty owned, good? Who, who bought it? Um, some some guy named uh, Jeff. Jeff's a good guy. Jeff's good. <laughs> Jeff, <laughs> Jeff. Jeff. You ever done a show with Pat Wilson? I did one time. I did University of Oregon State, back in the days. How about China Lake? No, no. China Lake was the worst gig ever, bro. Did you ever do a show for uh, Pierre? Pierre oh, in yeah, Seattle. Yeah. Well, I thought, well, I never, I thought, he never paid. No. Yeah, I, I got lucky. I never <laughs> did do a show, but I heard stories. We had we had Lunell. Yeah, we had Lunell on the show. We talked about him. She <laughs> said, "Oh yeah, man, getting robbed by by Pierre, it's a black comedian's way of right of passage. Right of passage. Yeah. yeah, he ripped off so many people. I heard. Yeah, and like meet me at the airport <laughs> and go ahead and like you're gonna get on the plane and I'll meet you there with, mm -hmm. with the money. With the money and, and, and no. he just wouldn't show up. The good old days. What's up, Johnny Rock over there with that fuck looking like Christopher Lloyd's <laughs> illegitimate <Yeah>. son? <laughs> Mario Rizzo let me wear this jacket one time and it's mine now. It's such a good jacket. So uh, you, your soul he, he goes on the road. <laughs> he goes yeah, on the road with you like too, that. right? Every Some, once in a while. Once yeah. in a while, that's cool. And so you got him, Toby, rotating. Oh man! Yeah, we have Larry Brown Larry sometimes. Brown. Oh, Chuck Larry Bubbles Bartel. Brown, hell yeah, old school. I Bartel. love Larry. Chuck Bartel. How you doing there, man? Whenever we can get Chuck Bartel, <laughs> we'll take him. There, man. This fool this in the in the ma in my in Florida that he lives out there, he just drives every Midwest in Florida. Oh, that's cool. Adam. Um, Adam Murray, and then we know um, Keith Manning. So Keith Manning in Dallas, from Texas. Texas. Yeah. Texas. From Texas, that's cool. Then we got a guy up north. Um, the full charge, Matt full charge. Matt full charge. He'll so do like he's. Oh, Matt full charge. I know who that yeah. is. Do anything in the area. Then we have. Then if we, we we go to Rhode Island, we get um Dan. Smith. Dan Smith. Dan Smith. Yeah. Yeah. Dan, Dan Smith. Yeah. Dan I remember Smith. Dan Smith. Yeah. yeah. Dan Smith. So he's like out there in the East Coast. Yeah. Right? Oh, that's we what's up. With him over he used there. to be over here, right? Yeah, I remember. Yeah. Dan. Yeah. Dan works whenever George Lopez goes over there, or mm -hmm. or any East Coast cop, any yeah. West Coast cop that I remember him. Yeah, Dan's cool people. So he man. works with us. We ran into him when we were doing um. The Wilbur Theater, he was, he was opening up for Bon Brani. Nice. So I said, bro, you should work Coming to the spot. Yeah, coming to the spot. So yeah. we, we did the casino, man. Mm -hmm. But he's such a, mar he's a, a married man. He's a married man, right? He yeah, he's got a new kid. He has, he, has, he, has, he, has, like, yeah. he has kids, right? He, was, he turned down the hotel. He's like, I'll just drive back. Because yeah, it was like cool. an hour and a half that's cool. away from Boston. Yeah, he's a good dude, man. I remember yeah. Dan. Good people, man. He Super still does cool. the military gigs once a year, but not for not for, not for long. That's right. He used to do mili military stuff. Yeah, that's cool, man. That's real good. Chuck Bartel, that fool is funny, though, Chuck dog. Is he is fucking Where, where is he from again? He's from Minneapolis. Minneapolis, okay. So, so when you when you do uh, House of Comedy, whatever out there, you, you, you hook I haven't been to House of Comedy, but I guess he'll be there. We're doing No, we're doing a theater, you doing uh, a theater? up there in St. Louis area. And when are you back in? I've, I've seen St. your Cloud. advertising before. You're, you're in Vegas, too, sometimes at Treasure, right? Treasure Island? Yeah, there's September. Nice. Mexican Independence Weekend. Joe Dill is there. How, how did it go, Joey? Tremendous. <laughs> <laughs> what I said. What I said. So you still go to um, you you ever do laughs in New Mexico? 
You know what? I've I never Me done either. laughs. I, but check this out. I'm actually doing a club out there called the Comedy Vault for the first time in May. It just opened, so we'll, I'll let you know how that goes. Do do a, do a strip out like um, well, of course everybody goes through this when like, like you 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 you've been doing comedy for a long time and mm -hmm. you see these comedians they always book the same motherfuckers, right? Mm -hmm. But I guess you, you, uh, well, now I know why now. You know, before I thought just. Because I just fool, um, I guess he's a hater. He don't want to book me, but mm -hmm. I realized that <laughs> he just he has a rapport with them of not yeah. paying them. Right. I never did. I never. I always heard stories about laughs. It, it closed down. Obviously, I I never did that. That I, you don't want to be there, bro. I heard that we had a that that. Well, it that, closed down anyway. So that was the <laughs> green room where the ma the manager and the, some of the waste staff lived there too. Is that right? No, no, the the fucking uh, condo. Wow. So if you're you're showering, bro. You come into the shower, and one of the waitresses taking a dump. Oh wow. Fuck that. <laughs> I'll meet you in the bed in a little bit. <laughs> oh. Wow. That's, yeah. Pass on that's that That's weird. Like, why would you be a waitress living in a condo? That means that every headline is going to try to pick up on you every week. Every mm -hmm. fucking week. Everybody. You're going to see the ass at work. You're going to see them at home. <laughs> I would be scared. Like, you don't know. You're going to see guys. Angel Salazar working with his underwear. Angel his box. Salazar. <laughs> wow. Check it out. Check it out. Check it out. The yeah. real Slim Shady. Yeah, let me put my <laughs> boom box in there. Boom, boom. Wow. <laughs> now you, bitch. Not you, bitch. Hey, look, give us all, give us all, give us all. That's cool. Where's my mobile is at, bro? Your homeboy. Oh, wow. I haven't seen <laughs> San Antonio <laughs> wow. raising my baby. That's right. <laughs> yeah, I think so. We we did run into him. Uh, I did a Latin Kings uh, comedy event in 2015. We ran into him. That's the last time I saw him. Somebody told me you were yelling out Latin Kings of comedy over and over in, <laughs> okay. in Chicago. First of all, okay, check this out. out. No, check this <laughs> out. They, they okay. thought you were yelling out King, Latin everywhere. Kings. He, yes, he has Miss all these. Things. Things. It's like, <laughs> we yeah. haven't seen each other in a long time, but he has all this valuable fucking information about me. I For real, man. He does. Who told me this? Frank Lissetto. No, no, no. no uh, it had to be Frank Lissetto. Michael Yo told me. And then Paul told me. No, so check this out. We're in we're in Chicago. We're doing a tour. Gomez told me just to get inside the green room. That's funny. That's Let me tell you about Manny. Let me in. That's the password. <laughs> you just got to tell you some gossip. Let me tell you about Manny. <laughs> tell me some fucking cheese, man. Here we go. So I have a job for Robin and Willie. I said <laughs> that the Latin Kings are in the house. Yeah. And the, I did not I did not know that Latin Kings was a big fucking gang. Come on. In no, Chicago. I didn't, I didn't know that. Modesto? Well, yes. I, I did grow up in Modesto. I didn't. I, I, I grew up in Ohio, and I know. Well, Latin I didn't know things. that. But see, once I again, that's a Midwest. That's a Midwest thing. I did not know. Yeah, but it's New York City though too. I knew Latin Kings were too. Yeah. Not in 2008. You did not know. I did know. Well, I didn't know. There was a great documentary on Latin Kings. Here in LA, we had Latin Kings, but they were called King Cobras. The big ass. Okay. Yeah. Well, I said instead of saying Latin Kings of comedy, I was already had some pops in me anyway. I already had some some pops in me anyway. So my bad. You were wearing a yellow bandana too, huh? So what happened? So you yelled out. I yelled that out to a bottle glass. And fucking Michael Kane was like, "Hey, what the man? Shut the fuck up." Mikey O. Mikey O. Mikey Mayor of Chicago. Mayor of Chicago. He said, Mikey was like, Manny, Mayor, Mayor Manny, Pilsen. you can't you can't say that here. Please don't you can't say that. I'm like, why? He's all and then he broke it down. I was like, all right. I want to tell you Jello you have Kings. Oh, we did. <laughs> Latin Kings of comedy. Stop it. Latin Kings of comedy. <laughs> Latin Kings of comedy. Like that. <laughs> Latin Kings of comedy. Uh yeah. <laughs> sponsored by Crown Royal. <laughs> sponsored by Crown Royal. And it was our sponsor, so that was fun. We try to do tour dates when we can, but you know, Paul's busy. Paul's doing his own thing. So, so once in a while he'll get the fellas together. It's usually me, him, and Joey. Once in a while, and th once in a while he'll throw uh, Gene and Gene on the show too. Gene his hat, bro. Gene and his hat. You know that's a hat, bro. So you throw up on it later. Yeah, Gene. Yeah. But you know, Jim Papa found. I don't know why I said that. Jim Papa would <laughs> never throw up, bro. That motherfucker could drink. He could drink. Bro. He finished a whole Ooh. bottle at the club. Remember? Remember? Yeah. He, he was, he was it Chardonnay? Was it Chardonnay? Yeah. He oh, oh vodka. Man. It was vodka. But when he does drink Chardonnay like in his coffee mug he does. all day. Yeah. All day. All day. He, he, he asked for a to go <laughs> cup and then he had a to go cup. He just keep and they they put it they went to go find a, a kid sip cup. I guess for a kid's drink uh -huh. from somewhere. He took out with a the, a drink like this. It had like dinosaurs and <laughs> stegosaurus mm -hmm. and it was full of vodka and or he goes he goes, You wanna make you a drink? No. Just fill it up with vodka and just give me a, a cranberry juice on the side. Wow. No, we did. I take it to God, tell me, said. And, and we, do, we did. <laughs> do like Dr. Phil, bro. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, man, you really look like me. <laughs> it's weird. I had four hairs left. I had to, I had to cut them. I had to cut them. I was like, Daniel I'm just like, I, oh, four man. Hair. I had four hair. hairs left. I said, let me cut Did you these. have hair when you first started comedy? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Absolutely. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Absolutely, I did, yeah. Is Johnny Sanchez here too? He still has hair. Yeah, oh. John, Johnny still has hair. I get a cut and die every time I go. <laughs> you with Johnny Sanchez? I love Johnny. Yeah, Johnny's great. Yeah, I, I work with Johnny many a times. 
He, and he's from the Central Valley too. He's from uh, Tulare. originally from Tulare. He's from Tulare. Yeah. Well, he said he was Portuguese though. <laughs> <laughs> he, he went the Portuguese route. Yes, he did. Wow. <laughs> yes, he did. <laughs> wow. What's up with the, the north? Uh, what's up with the fucking north in their denial? Just, well, you guys just can't be Mexican. Like God damn it, else. I yeah. am Mexican. I'd be like, no, mommy. I thought we was in North America. Man. No, <laughs> that's weird. This this is, is you and Birdman. No, stop hating. Stop hating. Of course, the, I'm. I'm yes. You hell in that second day improv? I I haven't done that in a long time. Yeah, but I've done it before. It's it's a fun room. It's a fun room. So I'm just trying to, you know, just grind. You do Tommy T's? I haven't done Tommy T's in a minute, but I did it all the time when I first started. That you should just go back over there, bro. You to like, <laughs> give us Tommy T's, bro. Come here, man. I mean, you can come here, headline. I don't know about if I can get you a steak or nothing like that, but, God you know, damn. I might have trouble paying you, too. <laughs> man, I love my <laughs> wife, man. I love my first wife, too. That's why she works here and shit. Wow. <laughs> you like Tommy? pigs, too? <laughs> Yeah, people say I look like one too, man. It's weird. <laughs> Wait, T sounds a little bit like Tally. Good to see you, Tommy. Good to <laughs> see you, Tommy. South Park, right? Good like, to see you, Tommy. I have no idea Tommy what's going so, on. Tommy G is so cool that it's cool uh, shit, man. That uh, we we ran into Christopher Titus mm -hmm. at the at the, oh, air, at the, at uh, the airplane, and um, and then we, I stopped by. I said, Christopher Titus, I, I want you to know that every time I see Tommy T, he always say that he helped you write your second special. Wow. And then he turned back and said, yeah, he also killed John Fox. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> Damn. Two firemen butt fucking. <laughs> John fucking Fox. Rascal. Damn. Damn. <laughs> You're digging into crates now big time. You said hey, John Fox. I like the music. It's good so you, you used to perform a lot in Sacramento, the punchline? Yeah. That, I mean, the, the, with Mike Burnell. With Mike Burnell. Those He's are the boy. Those, that's my dude. Um, that's where I did a lot of my shows uh, there. And then the San Francisco punchline, too. And you I have a podcast or anything? No, no. I, I used to have one back in the days, but you never. You should have kept it going, bro. So I was part of that that Toad Hop Network thing <laughs> that went under. Oh, was that? Uh, uh, there's been a handful of networks. What's they Toad did, Hop they Network? They did that yeah. at the John Lovitz that's Club. That's right. That's right. I remember Kelly that. Whoa. 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 Joey Medina. Damn. Whoa. Yeah, me, Joey. No, I forgot they had a studio and everything. Yeah, dude. Yeah, yeah, Frank, Frank started that, right? Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, man. Man. Old school. Yeah. yeah. It was it was that girl. Even Heidi and Frosty. Uh, Heidi Frosty. Were on, she was yeah. hot on that show at the John Lovitz Comedy Club because they had asked us. They had more people at the podcast than at the fucking club. Yeah. <laughs> they had asked us, yes, I know, they had asked us to do a podcast back yeah. then, but we were like lame. I said, nah. But I remember. Yeah, lame, the, we made the right choice. You made the excellent, no, but, uh, <laughs> the best choice ever. But I, I remember I went over there to do a live podcast with that yeah. Latino fool. Uh, what's his name? Um, uh, God, what's his name? I, oh, uh, the uh, one that was like set up like a show, yeah. like a talk show. But he was not a comic. David no. something. David, Ar 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 the V. David Lee Valdez Rock. Or, or <laughs> no, no, you, I, like I, I know you're talking about. I just don't remember. His, I don't. I don't remember his last name though. I know yeah, you're talking about. David Ortiz. He's like very put together, yeah. very like slick dressed. You know, like yeah, dude. smooth hair. Yeah, like, slick. Old, he's old like school. funny Latino, like <laughs> yeah. with his facial hair. And his yeah. So hair, yeah. we had a podcast. Yeah. We had a podcast damn. there for you about who? Me and Ida, Ida Rodriguez is my co-host. Damn, yeah. that's damn. Deja vu. I wish I knew about that. I would have. I would have said it all wrong. It was called Manny to the Max. Oh, the yeah. max. I put, I'm glad I didn't know about that. I'm <laughs> glad good. I would remember that. I would have said it all wrong. <laughs> you would have said Manny and more I, I podcast. Said, <laughs> hey, bro, you would have said Manny and more podcast. I would have said it all wrong. I would have said, so, said something like, hey, bro, when are you and Ada stop um, fucking <laughs> no, dating? No, here we go. Here we go. <laughs> I don't say comments. Nah, you know. bro, not dating. It's a podcast, you idiot. <laughs> yeah. No, but so you remember the setup that they had. Yes. It was a great setup, man. But it's just, uh, yeah, it's kind of weird. We were there for almost a year. So you and Ada you had your own podcast for so a long so For a year. It was a year. So you think it was still out there or just disappeared? I don't think it, I think it disappeared. Why did they leave uh, just because wow. the studio was That's gone? That's like over, over nine years ago. the club ago. was gone. Like no, the, it, was, it was 2000, it? 2011 to 12. Yeah. He didn't want to take it somewhere else, the network? Like having yeah, a and then, and then and you know what they were doing, Lisa? They were, they were, it had a lot of marketing and stuff. They had a lot yeah. of shows. You know what they were starting to do, too? They wanted to start charging us for our airtime. Oh, I was like, oh, hell no. I was already making the drive because I was living in Playa del Rey at the time. Oh I didn't want to drive all the way out there, and then I had to pay. I was like, nah, I'm good. You have right. a son. I have a son. He's 13 now. Yeah. You're married? Oh. No, no. I've been uh, happily uh, divorced since a long time ago. I think I got divorced, bro. <laughs> she was cheating on you? No. no. <laughs> <laughs> God <laughs> damn. Here we go. <laughs> 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 this is the fucking What's Up Bull <laughs> podcast, bitches. What's up, man? You, you had me in a comedy <laughs> duo <laughs> earlier, and now you want to fucking get really into my shit. Uh. She let the devil, huh? No, wow, yeah, that too. But uh, <laughs> no, but uh, to Bruce Jingles we, hanging we, out. Uh, wow, we actually get along really good, and my son. That's good. You got to really have that. Really, you got to have that. Very important. Really 
But I, but I, but I have, I'm happy. I have a girlfriend now, so she's really cool. I like her a lot. You're a comedian? No, no. She, uh, she's not a comedian at all. She's normal. <laughs> she's normal. She's normal, man. He's still normal. Normal, yeah. So How old is your son? He's 13. He's going to be 14 next Whoa! month. Next month. Yeah. Show you a picture. <laughs> <laughs> That's my boy right here. Damn, bro. He looks tall. <laughs> yeah, he is tall. He's taller Damn, than Damn, he looks what? fucking Last time I seen him, he was a little kid. Dog. He was yeah, like me six. too. But I said you have a son. I mean, that's right. One time I, when we went to the Commerce, uh, we did a show at the Commerce Casino, yeah, and he couldn't, he couldn't get in. He's 13 now. Dude. Damn. Yeah. So and, and he plays ball. Outside with Scooby. He plays, he plays ball. He plays basketball and baseball. He's pretty good. He's a pretty good athlete. Crazy <laughs> dog. Yeah. yeah, so Damn. they grow up quick, man. They grow up real quick, so you know. I know. They grow quick, bro. My son's going to be 15 this year. Okay, so he's a sophomore. Damn, no, how old are you? Right now. How old am I? <laughs> <laughs> how old are your kids? <laughs> Damn. Let's, uh, ask how, do, how old's your oldest? <laughs> oh, I remember. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> wow. <laughs> See, here we go. <laughs> my, daughter just had a, my daughter had a baby, though. She lives in Sweden. If you're asking. Oh, congratulations. congratulations. Another kid I'm not going to see. <laughs> wow. You want to wow. make the trek out there? Say hello. So, yeah, you, the you other met my son, the other I want to say, when he was four. <laughs> when he was four. When he was four. When he was four. Huh? When he was four. They don't live in here. You met, get kidnapped, huh? you, in you met my son when he was four. <laughs> kidnapped? Great. <laughs> what I got in the Sparta's. I got in the Sparta's. The Lindbergh baby. We're going to kill him if you don't come over and give us money. Kill him, dog. Kill him. Kill him, dog. Flippy's going to go. I'm not going to pick him up. She called him a Lindbergh baby. <laughs> Lindbergh baby, Jesus uh, Christ. It's the Sweden. <laughs> wow, that's funny. Would you have little ass thumbs, huh? We were chilling one time, though. We were eating at, or, you know, Ordonez after Ordonez. the Wild Coyotes. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. And Sebastian was eating and shit, and Luke Torrey had not said a word. He probably was, he probably, his body must have made short. He's a little buzz. And then he so looked buzz. over at fucking Sebastian's hand. What did he say? No, he looked, his, his arm was over there with like hairy as fuck. He's like, damn, Sebastian. You got some fucking hairy ass arms <laughs> and shit. And we never noticed it. We're like, fuck, dude, you do, dog. Wow. Transfer hairy, that hair dog. to your head, dog. You know, I feel I feel like Luke Torres Luke Torres can do a lot of impersonations just dude, like Luke you. Luke Torres is right? fucking shit. <laughs> you, ever, you ever hear him do uh, Paul Rodriguez introducing... Uh, other comedians like he does the oh, voice dude. this next Aztec warrior like he does <laughs> stands like him the neck yeah everything to a T and he does uh, D militant yeah dude, like fucking Luke Torres is a real he's, he's a real, real deal man if you hear stories about Luke Torres Luke man, Torres is the fucking man that very just have Carlos Mencia shaking in his boots a very underrated very, shout yeah. out to Luke Torres very underrated very yeah. underrated I did the fourth and B with um, prior game Luke props. Torres really yeah he's badass dude. he was on Mad living props. color right yeah he yeah. was he was yeah I was good looking guy good looking guy yeah he looks like you now. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what happened? <laughs> Holding back nice, the years. I was, <laughs> the <fall>. Holding <laughs> back <laughs> the years. <laughs> I thought I told you that. Holding we won't back stop. the years. You keep it real, bro. You don't wear hats. I try to. <laughs> try to keep it real, man. I got a little, little, nice little shaped head, so I'm all right. Real, um, <laughs> Were you scared like when you t took it all off? Oh, yeah. To, like, what is the final yeah, shape yeah. of my head? Yeah, like, yeah. I, I don't yep. know. I was scared. Sure. You know, a lot of people say wear hats to go bottom. I'm just wear headphones, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Stop a headphone headband? Rock, rock, the, the, the Dre beats. The Dre beats. Hey, you be like Chepo, dog. Hey, for Jesus. Dick. I don't know. Dick. Chepo had a receipt. Sometimes I'm on the, the bus. That motherfucker's on that show just talk shit. That's what I don't talk to him no more. That's man. funny. <laughs> Sometimes I'm on the bus and I write, you know? I just on the bus for no reason. I'm done. Sometimes I'm on the, on the 115 on Manchester for no reason. <laughs> 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 You like that? <laughs> I knew you would get that premise, dog. Cause Damn. it's all, hey Manny. Sometimes I'm on the, sometimes I'm on the bus and I write. I'm like, eight mile, bro. <laughs> what the fuck, Eminem? What the fuck oh, is wrong? Sometimes I'm on the bus and I write. Prolific. I remember that one time when I first wow, met him, dog. or or a couple times after yeah. I met him, and we were taking him, dropping him off yeah. somewhere his, at his house, <laughs> and I'm driving, and I'm waiting at the red light, and he goes. Oh, this one, uh, you can turn left before anyone else because you'll have an arrow in the, and you can at this intersection. And I uh -huh. said, We don't know that. I said, Yeah, that's pretty much around the country. <laughs> you can turn left for, before everybody <laughs> with an arrow. Serious? With an arrow. <laughs> like, I got my license. I was like, Yeah, everybody. Yeah. And then he was like all insulted because <laughs> I. 
called him out on what a dumb That's thing that funny. was to say. What's up, fool? <laughs> this week, I'm in Miami at the Miami Improv, March 8th through the 10th. San Angelo, Texas, March 15th <laughs> at the San Angelo PAC, Pack Center. <laughs> Wichita, Kansas, oh. March 16th at the Orpheum <laughs> Theater, Grand Junction, Colorado, March 23rd at the Avalon Theater, Arlington, Texas at the Improv. What's up, fool, dog? What's up, fool? <laughs> we gotta go. We oh gotta go. I, had, I had a blast. This is so fun. What's Thank your you Instagram, on. bro? People can follow oh, it's, you. Oh, uh, it's Instagram. It's Manny M A N N Y. The number two T H E M A X. Manny to the max. What's up, fool? Yeah. Same thing with Twitter and Facebook. Yeah, uh, Twitter is at Manny Maldonado, and same thing on Facebook, just Manny Maldonado. Right on, dog. Modesto's yeah. fine. You should all go to a Raider game, bro. I'm you should. Bro. We're, we're, Except San Diego, bro. That fucking cannon was killing me. The, <laughs> the cannon fucked yeah, up that, my left I ear, know, dog. That was horrible. You know what's crazy, we bro? We're right by the cannon. What's crazy that uh, we do the podcast every Wednesday, mm -hmm. and today will be the, the the first Wednesday that we go outside and we don't see Brody Steven in his car reading his baseball cards. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. Peace, bro. Yeah. Rest, Rest in peace. In nice. peace. Yeah, we see that for every week. His podcast always plays after our podcast. Right. It was at two o'clock. Yeah, we ran into him last week, like yeah, the day we before we he we died. Actually, I think we see we seen that for every Wednesday for the last year. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Shit, the last three years. The last yeah. three years. Every time we see him out there, he brought you up a fool with his old ass baseball cards. Wow. I didn't I didn't even know that fool played baseball AAA. No, he played college. Oh. Yeah, he What's up, fool? Eight eight one eight for life. Yeah, man. <laughs> peace. I knew you.